<coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> hey, Yoshi. How's it going, chap? If I move this over, will it show up on stream? Wish me luck with my big job interview. I wish you luck with your big job interview. Chatter. Villian, villian glass, villain glasses one. I have missed three streams. You shouldn't watch this one then. You should go back and, and, and be a good VOD boy. Is Joe Choir today? Nah, I'm just talking a little lower. I'm like, internally debating something right now. I don't know. I fuck, I'm in. I'm in. A, I'm in a really bad mood. Chat. Like, stream almost didn't happen, and I'm hoping that we can get through the fan art. I'm doing fan art when I'm in a bad mood is not a good idea, but um, I feel bad that we didn't show it last time. So, I, I don't want to get behind on fan art and fan arts to think that they're being like ignored or whatever, but yeah, I'm in a really bad mood. It was a really bad weekend. You gonna play Persona 3? Eventually we'll play Persona 3, yeah. Hopefully I, uh, I perk up a bit while we, uh, we go through, um, the fan art and the recap of the game. I'll try and, like, push it away. Your list is playing the second game. Oh, no, I didn't change it. Can I change it right now live? Oh, I, I made that as a joke, and then I forgot to change it. Okay, there we go. I changed it. Oh, let me feed the dogs one second. got dog food in your room well our house is pretty small so my streaming office work space is in the basement um which is a mostly unfinished basement uh there's insulation visibly hanging in the ceiling um the walls are okay but they're not painted or plastered over they're just plaster boards um there's laundry down here and the upstairs is pretty pretty small for for the kids and uh yoshi and gatsby are pretty big so now that we have um uh, the one-year-old walking around a lot, and even Kate at three is pretty small. We don't, we're not comfortable keeping the big dogs just free roaming in the house with the, with the little kids, just in case. You know, they'd probably be fine. They've never done anything bad, but you know, just in case, it's not worth it. Like, like Gatsby weighs 120 something pounds. Like Gatsby is just gigantic. Um, and, uh, Yoshi is, like, 80-something pounds. Like, th they are absolute monster dogs. So, having them next to the, next to the, the, the girls is, um, we just don't feel comfortable with it. So, the dogs mostly hang out down here with me. So, th their food is down here. They're, I bring them water down here. Every, everything like that. When they get older, uh, the, the, also, the other factor also, which was the more important factor before the girls were walking around is that we have we have a third dog who is an australian shepherd who like weighs like 35 pounds she's she's tiny and she's super old um to be blunt i don't know how she's still alive i'm happy she's still alive but i, I don't know how she's still alive it's like she's she's super super old um and having them interact all the time um might be pretty bad too so uh 
Yeah, she she's not like like limping either. Like she's doing fine. Like she's she still runs around. Like she she's good. So maybe she's got another couple of years left in her. I don't know. We'll see. But I, for the, for <laughs> every single winter for the past three winters, I have said this is this is probably Chloe's last winter. And <laughs> no, <laughs> so we're on winter number three of that in a row. Will you watch uh, HBO's Last of Us? Probably eventually, yeah. But I don't think I'm going to watch it until it's done. Or maybe we'll see if it gets a second season or whatever. Good boy eating your food. Good boy. Would you say this game strikes a good comedic, comedy serious ba seriousness balance? Or is, is the goofiness compromising your engagement in the narrative? Um... So that's a very difficult question to answer because I haven't finished the game yet. Uh, the answer is yes. The goofiness is compromising my engage my my engagement in the narrative. But I also want to add right afterwards that I think the goofiness is the narrative. So also no. Like um, the goofiness did not compromise my ability to engage when we were going through the Mizuki part. Although I guess I wasn't able to um, uh, enjoy it as as much as some people did in chat. A lot of people seem to really like the sequence. I liked it too, but I didn't, I didn't love it. Like um, I I don't know. I think I think the goofiness is the point, isn't it? So it's hard to it's hard to judge that. If it turns into like a super serious story by the end, then I'm gonna be answering yes, that it was too goofy. But if the goofiness stays kind of saturated throughout the whole thing, then then great. I haven't seen the last 1.5 streams, surely I haven't missed anything important. Did you see the 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 nostril rant, Wuggy? That's the game we're making next. I've we've already got the design laid out for the next game, Wuggy. I'm not sure if you were here for that or not. Let's get some concept art revved up in the chat. What the fuck nostril, nostril rant? Oh, there you go. There you go. He, the, Wuggy doesn't know. Wuggy doesn't know. I will link it to Wuggy later. I'll probably forget, actually. Anyway. So, Somnium. 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 Kidnapping should be legal, says boss. Here's my Pokeball, says Pewter. Oda, I remember the characters' names. Yeah, Somnium. This is by Sam, I believe. Yes, Sam, an unintellectual. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Because you don't want to be associated with liking Somnium, right? I, uh, I agree. I'm, I'm with you there. I get it. Is Date the best weave game pro tag, pro tag you've played? Oh, that's tough. I don't know. Wow, my stream is really delayed from when I clicked off of that there. That took like more than 10 seconds. Um, that day's probably up there, I think. I don't know, like, I like uh, Chat Upon and Dad Upon, but th those are really just surrogates. They don't really have much personality at all. But when their personality does come through, like, th the choices you can make as Chat Upon were, were insane. Um, the Zero Escape protagonists were pretty good too, and they had a lot more character. But it's, it's definitely between that. Okay, chat. So you can see it on the screen. Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I'm not. I don't. I, I've looked through the art. I skimmed through it. Um, there's a couple panels I didn't see, but I know for sure that none of this is 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 not safe for work. But like, if if you're in a very puritanical work, then it will not be. Not, then it will not be safe for work. Okay. Um, so you know. <laughs> It depends on your work. All right, here we go. It's Piss Chan by Chrome, the new stream Chan. Wake up, babe. The first Chan of 2023 just dropped. It's Piss. No, it's the second one because we have uh, B B B Kai. It's Piss Chan. Does he really like talking about me that much? Let's take a shower together. Oh, together. I love your feet. You did this show. I did not do this. Chat did this. I am not letting I'm not I am not letting the piss course continue much longer. Okay, I th I think we're done. All right, like much like the t subject matter itself, it has it has run its course. All right, and I think that 
I think that we can all just move on as a society, okay? I think we're doing... <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at piss course. Oh, okay. I, I, I have to say, though, she is blonde. <laughs> Secondly, I like the, uh, the toilet paper. Um, I don't know what this kind of shirt is called, but I like it. It's very, very cute. Very cute. This is, this is this is all of them all of them all right this is by zestorgen hv who i just butchered their name i'm sorry zestorgen hv there you go they're becoys i swear officer the file name for this is good old piss glock and i appreciate that i appreciate that too Can you imagine missing missing the stream? Why is Wuggy still here? Wiggy, did you did you miss the the, the piss stream? <laughs> Cause it's like what? You miss one stream on this on this riot, and you're like, what the fuck happened? Oh man, okay. Streams are back. Streams are back. I don't care what you say. Like, there's nothing wrong with peeing in the shower. Absolutely nothing wrong with peeing in the shower. Like, in most cases, in in most instances. All right. Is this a different setting? Oh, that's awesome. With uh, with the different kinds of bullets that were in um in the I don't even know what's the the evolver. Cool, cool. This is by Chrome. Joe, what is this? Joe brought it up so I have some more piss chan lore. Fucking Bicoy. Alright, that might actually be not safe for work. We might be in trouble for this one. What the? We, okay, that's not worse than, um, what, there was a persona that was, like, like, literally a penis, wasn't it? Like, that, this isn't as worse than that. Like, oh my god. God, oh my God, daughter, I'm worried about you hanging out at the sink. It's not right. Ugh, why doesn't he get it? I hate him. This is what is this narrative? Oh, hairy... yeah, they're big hairy feet. Yeah, that's what Biko has always been. Big hairy feet, claw claw arm with uh with a crown. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh good, one that isn't about piss. Alright. Good news everyone, Iris is alive! Jumping jacks, what? <laughs> I, I love the, the constant stabbing of Iris. Was that meant to be funny? Because it was really funny. That was really funny to me. I'm not sure if it's meant to be funny or not. Ah, oh, we were one off from getting that done first try. I can't believe I did the fighting game combo again. <sighs> also by Chrome. Thank you, Chrome. Oh no, not again. Alright. I'm not seeing any piss. Alright, that's good. Hold on, sorry. I should say who they are who who they're by first. That's rude of me. By Sam, this time it'll be a serious and compelling narrative, right? 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 The world Joe morbed into existence. Nostril. The 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 what files? Nidosh Nidoshian files? Nid Nidorian files? Oh, it, like the. Okay, I think I know what that, that means. Okay, I th I think I uh, at least I hope so. So this is what the game. So this is that game. And who said I should play? The day stream. I must catch the, the, the look at the, the, the nose. The nose gobbler. No, no skin. <laughs> no skin. No skin. No skin. No skin. You know who the nose gobbler is. It's me, Nosuke. Neosa. 
how do you think I got such a lovely nose? No, 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 this makes no sense. Nice. Nice. No ske. I've I've already done some more work on 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 the actual story of Nostro, by the way. Although there is going to be a character named Nosuke in it now. Thank you, thank you for that. I steal, I steal. The main character can't smell. That's what's going to be. So the main character has to have some sort of like 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 Nosuke um partner that was going to over oh. Chaos. Chaos. Is gonna have some character that will overlay so so the so the main character can can see smells and then the the buddy is going to have to describe what the smell smells like to them and it's gonna be like a lot a lot a lot a lot of sense of longing for the main character who can't smell. Nosuke is going to be very important. Very important. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. And that works so well you can't smell games anyway. Yeah! Little narrative harmony. Yeah, exactly. It's it's it writes itself. Also by Chrome and PubSub. And PubSub, really? I can't make this bigger, unfortunately. Chrome had a fun weekend. Do 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 So this would be Jomris, Irem, Irem, Riss, Jomris, gotta be right. I Joms, I Joms, Jomris. I think. I think Jomris. All right. Thank you, Chrome. Oh god damn it. Also by Chrome Chrome Chrome. What what did you do? A crossover with Sam's Bidet Chan and they were bathroom mates. Uh, this okay, this tracks actually. I looked back at the uh twenty twenty one streams. Joe was talking about shower pissing then too frequently. The piss fan art will not see What do you mean? It's never been brought up before. Ever. This slander. It's J set. J set, that's true. Yep. Joms Joms Bombs, kaboom, room, doom, they set. <laughs> I don't know. You, 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 I'm bad at this game. Wow. You, you can't be here. Then how, how come I am the culprit? Yeah. So this is when someone said, is it okay to pee in your bidet if the toilet is, um, is, uh, Is occupied, and I don't know enough about bidets to to say that for sure. Look at the look at the little faucet antlers on bidet Chan. Okay. One more is made every time Joe brings up piss. Okay, I haven't brought it, like, in Jad, do you mean, over the weekend? I didn't bring it up this time. Chat brought it up this time, and the fan art did. You can't, you can't have, like, a feedback loop of, oh, the fan art brought it up, I respond to it. Oh, that counts, here's more fan art. Because then it's just going to be, it's going to be piss all the way down. It's going to be never-ending. It's, it's, that doesn't, that doesn't, no. That, does, that doesn't track. Not, not so ever. Oh man, I remember seeing this one when it came in. Oh damn. Okay, so this is I this this requires some explanation and and backstory. Okay, so here let me let me put it on the screen first. All right, here we go. Wow, my stream is so far behind. By rhymes with 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 cafe. Cassafe? Is that is that right? Is that what's or or, or cafe cassafe? Is it's it's cafe, right? I'm in cafe bitte, right? I, I I know German. I learned some German in school, right? Ho oh, oh. <laughs> was this a troll of my my dumb for the pronunciation here? I'm in cafe bitte. Uh cat cat 
Kasve. Kasve. Oh, Kasve. Oh, oh. The, the Chans is 2022. I'm sorry. Going clockwise. Merrick, Ladder Chan. From here. I don't remember Ladder Chan. Mars needs Senpai's Sucky Bunny Chan. I, I can't. Like. Like, we're joking. We're joking about. About. Like, Piss Chan, but. You don't know how much. Like, I have never been owned harder than Merrick did when Merrick made the Sucky Bunny Chan for, like... No, no one has ever so insidiously communicated to me on stream before, yeah, I understand you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> like, oh, god damn it. Like... <laughs> And uh, Fido Chan, I love Fido Chan so much. Um, Alia made, uh, m n sorry, Marzine Senpai's Wolf Chan, Vixit Morphogenic Field Chan, Anu Kudor Chan, Tree Chan, and Sun Station Chan. Ooh, what game was that? Salif Eraser Chan, Anu again, Florence, who we just heard, Chrome VTuber Waifu Joe. Great work on the abs. Note from the artist. EKB themselves. No novel and advanced Chan. First aid nurse. Chrome again. Monocoin Chan. Anu. Jump Cubus. Anu. What the fuck? Says note from the artist. Zestorian HV. Mars Needs Senpai's Snail Chan. And Problem Synth. Mars Needs Senpai's Moth Chan. And in the middle, the robbed waifu of 2022, Bikoi Chan. Bikoi Chan. There we go. Gorgeous Chans. Gorgeous Chans. And now let's just let's just uh let's just flash forward to uh to uh um the twenty twenty three version and up here Piss Chan. Awesome. Awesome possum. No, that was me with the ab. Oh, was it? Whoops. Oh, sorry. I miss. I misunderstood. Bidet, bidet Chan, Piss Chan, right next to each other as they should be. Make a card game out of them and milk uh, the, <laughs> the card <laughs> collectible Chan card game. That's our merch. No, no, it would sell though too. I would want though. <laughs> I'd want that. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what a rights nightmare that would be to contact all of the, the the artists? Like that would be insane. Like, are you kidding? Like, anyway, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Take a chance from me. Okay, this is by Athorno. Boss, we need some leads on this case before it gets cold. Like, re wine bottles lined up, pouring out for range. Oh, yeah, I love this joke. Oh, rip, we have to use for this. We have use for this now. It's for Renju. Boss's office clothes. There's tons of stuff on that shelf. Just like Renju is going to be stuffed in that coffin. Shoko N Nidame, notorious child slapper. Yeah, true. What the hell? What the hell? Rip. Nice. Nice. Anyone else thinks that uh, the the Jote looks pretty good? Like the the dragon avatar doesn't look bad with that kind of hairstyle and and and, and the horns going up, right? It looks pretty good, right? Like, not bad. Not bad. It tracks. Thank you for that. Okay, it's not piss. That's good. Alright, I don't think I can make this bigger without it being... Like... Let me see. Yeah, okay. So ha we're gonna have to look at it this this way, okay? Tch. Who would have... Okay, I also can't um, tell who, who did this until we get to the end. Although I have an idea. Um, tch. Who would have Who would have known the culprit was an actual polar bear? Grr. Grr. 
Jote, there's a character profile magazine behind that bear. That's true. That is, that is my version of the <laughs> of the porno mag. I love <laughs> I love the character profile. <laughs> Certain conditions. <gasps> Got it. Boom, 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 boom. Look at the action pose. Woomph. Great job. Now we will know all your weaknesses, polar bear. Uh-oh. Polar bear likes piss. No, it's piss again? No! I thought we were done with the piss. It's a piss jump scare. I thought we were done with the... Oh. Oh. Where is this? this? Jote? Uh-oh. Joe, what the fuck are you... <gasps> Bye, paddle. No caption. You're the boss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we ended on the most uh, not-safe-for-work uh, illusion of all. From where I'm sitting, it seems like a lot has taken the piss out of you. True, true. Plus two to you, Chatter. Plus two. Maybe that's a plus one, actually. Thank you, Paddle. Alright, I will try very hard to... Uh-oh. We still here? Yeah, okay. Sorry, the lights just flickered and usually when power goes down, that's it. Um, I will try very hard to do the rest of fan art at the end of the stream today, but as always, no promises. Like, stream almost didn't happen today, but we'll see. Feel, uh, feel, feel a little perked up now. Thanks. Let us go back to the game. <laughs> no, no skate. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I need to set up some windows because I have to use the other monitor for fan art and just give me one moment and we will be into the game. I don't think that took that long. I, it took me a while to even start looking at the fan art. That's why we're behind today. But so far, so good. All right. Let's pull up the... Oh, I don't have Steam open. Uh-oh. Which Witcher book did you enjoy the most? Um, of the saga, like the five-part novel saga, the last one was my favorite. Although... I'm surprised it was my favorite, considering like they they get kind of slow as they go on. Um, of of overall though, I it was one of the first two, probably the second one. I really like the short story collections more than the more than the continuing novel part of the Witcher books. Have you ever played Psychonauts? I have not played Psychonauts. Whoop. I didn't play this with a with a gamepad, right? I played it with a uh, with a mouse and keyboard. All right, so I saved it down here because that's a little later. So let's go with this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you played Rain World before? I have played Rain, Rain, Rain World for a couple hours. I didn't really like it, but I'd like to give it another chance. Because a lot of people rave about that game, so there must be something special there. But, you know, people also raved about Silent Hill too, and that was pretty mid, so who knows. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. And we're going to go over them right now. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Wasn't a bad game, but, you know pretty mid okay so when we last left our hero we had just recently found out that um 
the morbing of this game is that the Somniums can change reality, which I don't really understand how that works at all. Like, it's kind of cool, I guess. Like, what does that mean for down here or up here? Like, I don't... Oh. So you're confused? I'm very confused. This, this whole line has been very confusing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I wish we had gone with one of the other routes instead. But anyway, here's what we've done. If, if you missed one of the streams, you probably shouldn't watch this one. But here's what we've done. We've done we, this is the first route we did. We went down here, down here, down here, down here. And that's what we did. And uh, now we're doing this route. And then I, I guess this is going to branch at some point. If it doesn't, then we're going to jump over and do these. And then we're done, right? This, this looks like we're close to being done. There's no way that um, there's more to this, right? Little did Joe know that it was like, it was like the, I can't say that's a spoiler. Shit. Oh man. It's like, it's, it's like the map of, of one of the most celebrated games that came out last year. Little did Joe know. All right. Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't think I need to recap it. I think we can just get into it because I'm excited to see what happens. If, if you are confused, if is, is there anything anyone would like specifically recapped or wants a refresher on or anything like that? Like what? What's going on on this route? Let let me go through that real quick. So we went down here. We saw um, Iris's body stabbed underneath the carousel in in Mizuki's dream. Mizuki couldn't talk anymore. Mizuki went home, met with the teacher who was Iris's mom, and they um they that, that's why she could talk because she met with the teacher and, and that's her 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 home teacher I think homeroom teacher or something like that. Um, then we found Iris dead after we went and saw so who's who's the senator and possibly our dad or congressman and possibly our dad that that day's dad i don't really know what the hell happened down there um and then we followed him to the same warehouse where iris was was um almost killed on this path and when we got there iris's dead body was there the same one that we saw in the in the in mizuki's Som somnium and she was frozen and stabbed and missing an eye and then we when when we arrested so and then we put so insomnium and then we went to his dream and we saw s s him or some some specter stabbing iris over and over and over again and we helped her get away in the dream and then after that we went back and the the, the corpse was gone and date has concluded that he changed reality when he, when he went to Som Som Somnium, and that's why the body is gone, and I don't understand how that works at all. Meanwhile, no one can confirm it because conveniently, our eye buddy was out of batteries. Like, Lamayo got him. That's so stupid. You know, we could have charged on the way there in the car. Like, like surely, once she gets low, she she ha she must be saying, hey, look, let's charge on the way there. Why doesn't she, why isn't she just charging all the time? Um, you know, and uh, yeah, so so no one believes him except for um, Boss. Boss believes Date. I'm surprised that that um, Alba isn't engaging more with, with the, the possibilities. I'm a little disappointed in Alba. Like, I'm not saying Alba has to be like, yeah, sure, changing reality, whatever. But, like, why isn't she like, okay, I, I believe that you saw this. So, what could possibly be the reasons for it? I swear to God, chat, if Iris has a secret twin. Iris with an E. I, I, E, I, R, S. It's Iris. I swear to God, if Iris has a secret twin. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her, with her assessment. All right, I don't remember what this context for this conversation is. Hopefully, we pick it up. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sajima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Fake. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. Fuchu the Prison. Caller identified themselves as inmate number 89. Oh, that was on the other line too. Number okay. 89. Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. Oh shit. All right, Weebs, this is your fault. This is your fault. You spoiled me on something. Okay. So when in the dream, in the first stream, right? In the, 
that's why that that clip has like four thousand views. In in the in the first in the dream, I made a joke based on boss's age that the that the old man was eighty nine years old, and I just so happened, I just so happened to like say eighty nine as the age that just popped into my head. Okay, and that has like so many fucking views on that clip. I'm like, why the fuck does that clip have so many views? And that's because I just happened to say the inmate number of of the um. Like, uh, of that guy, right? So he's in May 89, that's why. So I just happened to say the age. Through Nagito Morbogenic Fields. Alright, is that is that a big spoiler, or is it fine? Like, is that, like, is, am I not, I, obviously I'm not supposed to know that yet. But is that a really, really big spoiler, or is it is it a little one? Nah, you, it's good, okay, alright. Okay, cool, alright. I've been wondering, why the hell does that clip have so many fucking views? I know. Alright. Ruined. Why aren't you charging? Steering wheel. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. It's a crash board. Interesting. So we're gonna crash at some point. The this box, box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. Was this the line where we did the self-destruct thing too, or was that one of the other ones? God, I can't remember. Looks like Alba's sitting in the passenger seat. Who is 89? From what I can determine, he is an assassin. What? He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. <laughs> Falco? Falco? Correct. Do, do, what are we gonna do? Uh-oh. Falco? What's the relationship between So and 89? Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? It was you. Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Date? Yeah. There has been another murder. I already know. The victim died by my own hand. You don't seem very upset. Yeah, I fucking hated them. Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered. You don't know? Databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. Multiple. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years. Six years ago. Six years ago. Okay, so... That has to be linked to the Somnium thing, right? There's, there's too much here. There's too much here. Like some present, some some like reality, not reality. Some like personality imprint, and they cured it with amnesia or whatever. I don't. How does how does that work? If someone imprints on someone else, it's not like a clean wipe, so it can result in amnesia or something, and a new person is is born. I don't know. Number eighty nine. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No, we don't have time. We do though. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. There's no way that's Roger. allowed. No way. Right, I'm Dante. There's no way that's allowed. No. No, we're gonna Somnium 89. Oh, Sejima residence. Did we choose this, sir? I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Smile. Isn't your investigation over? Yeah, that's true. Let's leave. Porno Mag, there's a small island on the center of the pond. I have a look. A merman. So is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. Wait, a merman? Oh, it's like... I thought... Th 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 that sounded like she said a wealthy politician is also a merman. So is a merman. Like, it's like, it's like what? 
<laughs> a garden stone. I right, don't think we need to look at everything. A circle bush. How's it going, so? So is feeding the coin in the pond. Number 89. Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. Falco? He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. Ooh. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. True. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Okay, where is she? I told you, I will not answer that question. Is it, is it the same receptionist that's at Lemonskate and she moonlights as your receptionist? I'd like to see. Or your secretary? And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. Hmm. So that's where I, I, I keep my collection of, of dead bodies, of, 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 of clones, of everyone in the whole entire world. And it just happened that I left that one out. Like, like what, what's you going on here? You are beginning to irritate me. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. Based. <sighs> Based. Look at the pond again? Okay. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm a merman. I heard a strange voice just now. Could it be? It's a very serious game. A pond. James Pond. That's the merman's name. How many times do I have to tell you? Five. I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. Okay, I know what we need to do. He was lying. Let's let's play the echo game. Say it. Say a uh, uh, pond. What? A set. Do it. Pawn. proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her. He doesn't want us to know. Po po politician, bribe, money, wallet, asset. Done. Damn game Why better. Are you hiding so? Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy, excuse me. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. Is it that you're to my dad? Honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. Whoa. I don't ever want to see you again. Whoa. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. What I do? It's uh. what's best for both of us, understand? Okay, can I get a, uh, get a new face? So, so, walked away sternly. Who does this guy think he is? Your dad. Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Ooh. Any higher could kill you. Mine. Oh, I'm at 66 Relax, BPM right Date. now. I'm doing great. What the hell? We still have much to do. I know. I know. <laughs> Abyss headquarters. Oh, was that it? I thought we had more to do. Did we do the other ones last stream? I can't remember. I return to Abyss HQ with Alba. I need to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here. In the Number interrogation Number 89. Room. I'm on it. All right, Somni. You'll go without yep. me this time. Somni. I have some yep. errands to run. Okay, what? One of the higher ups needs me. Okay. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Uh, this Understood. Is suspicious. I thought that was a big beard. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> like how? <laughs> OK. 
Okay, similar faces, but it can't be a clone or anything like that. It would be like a mind jump, but I don't think that's it now, actually. I don't think Boss would let him come here if that was the case. Let's get started. Number 89, camera used for interrogation. Pops on the wall, since camera A. You okay, Yoshi? Desk in the room. I can't look at computer? The man known as 89 is sitting right in front of me. Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. Look at this I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. I told him to call somebody. Somebody? Anybody. I can't tell you anymore. Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> Why can't you? Djibouti. North East Africa, <laughs> a small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Number 89. Your real name. I don't know, I forgot. What? What do you mean you forgot? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Okay. Well, this was worth. All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Wait, do you have amnesia Two too? Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. Yeah, what I said, I forgot. What I'm actually, what I, what, what I was saying was that I had like very high grade amnesia that that it was I received six years ago. Sorry. Oh wait, you thought I was just like playing coy and saying I forgot my name? Huh? Well, you never asked. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so Ooh. hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? What? Yes, I promise. Wait, what? <laughs> You're lying. Of course we're lying. You don't want to release me. No. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. Okay, good job, I just Dante. wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. All right. What do you mean? You really want to know? Yep. Here's what I mean! Kick it back. Okay, pewter. P pewter. P You'll make a good hostage for me. Wh what? Take me to the exit. Now. His legs weren't bound? Alright, this is dumb, chat. Chat? This is really dumb. Th this is too far. Whatever. That was stupid. Now it's a weeb game. Wait, what? Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. We let the prisoner out. Oh, and it was going so well. But now there's an escape convict on our watch. Oh, darn. Darn. A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. How did he get through the whole entire... I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press <laughs> sniffs this out. <laughs> we need to get number 89 back before then. Okay. Where, where did he take you? I don't know. It was, all so, it was all so fast. I can't really remember. Well, I know what we have to do. Somnium. 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 But... <laughs> but, but <laughs> Peter, Peter's like, okay, I'll go. No, 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 we have to gas you. It's how we do it. Boss and fucking that's a carrying Peter down the hall. Somnium, somnium. Peter just like fucking like almost drugged out, but still kind of conscious slurring going, somnium, somnium. Here we go. Where's my gun? Oh, here you go. 89 still has it. Oh, God damn it. But don't worry. What? I have a spare. Oh, this is the I'll spare. I'll to you later. How would I know? After what? he got to the exit, he let me go. Oh. I didn't see where he went. 
I collapsed right there. Pewter collapsed. He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. Damn. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. This one? He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. What do you mean? I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. Okay. Boss, we need to go back in Somnium, and we need to make it so Pewter becomes the hero and stop them. And then when we come out of Somnium, 89 will be back in the interrogation room. Let's do it. Let's do it. And if it doesn't work, then we know it doesn't work. Let's do it. Let's go. Somnium. 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 Pewter's standing calmly. A little too calmly. Pewter's a little sus right now. Yeah, I agree, Chatter. I agree. Boss is sitting at the desk. Don't apologize. Don't you have something to say? Nope, I don't. I know an apology isn't going to fix it. La lady, you, your people didn't tie, tie him up properly. I got assaulted. I should be claiming workplace compensation right now. I got hit in the head and almost died. I'm scared. Pe like, look, 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 you're the one who's wrong here. But I know I'm responsible for this. You're not though. I'll get him. Well then, good luck. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. Oh, he went back to that, that so ice-cutting warehouse. Accomplice. Yes. Yeah, it was so. Did you see who was driving? I did. It was the receptionist was from, from Lemonscape. You and I know him well. Uh-oh. Renju? Renju? <gasps> I told Boston Peter what Alba revealed to me. How is Alba the only one who knows it? Maybe Al Alba's Renju? lying. W why? Have you clicked anything? I clicked everything in here on a pass playthrough. Date, Moma is calling. Who? Moma from the Kumakuras. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll when you gonna? Hey, when you? Am I gonna get that that meeting with Iris? Hey, Date. <laughs> What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Yeah. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. In my Yakuza suit. What should we do? I don't know. We have no choice. We have to take her. To Moma? Wait, what? Yes. What, we're... We're doing it? Uh-oh. Oh man, now I don't get to inspect everything in the room and say, damn, if only A9 had come into this room, he would have loved this. Oh, A9 never had a Christmas in prison. He should come into this room. A9, uh, look, look, look at the tombstone. I wonder if he thinks about his victims when he sees us. Oh my this. god! Hey, we're going on that date, I promise late, you. Late, 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 late. You're late. No, I'm date. I'm going home. Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? No, of course not. You're drunk. Isn't Nato good embarrassing? So embarrassing. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. Yeah, she's I can't a little drunk. I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited. Is that what the kids are calling it now? We are not. Shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. What? So where are we going? Where should I take her? T to see the... Needs to be a sad face. With like like pointing downwards, like oh, it's not there. Where is she? Maybe she is the receptionist or the secretary. The receptionist is nowhere to be seen. Where is she? 
Kirby's Lego, Lemon Skate. All right, there's always something about the TV. Oh, the hat's Quinten Rob Kone. Who? Oh, I've heard of them. Not even gonna try. Special. Catch a skyfish. Next time these magazines get replaced, I'm taking that one. Oh, you get to do that? That's a nice perk. Date, I've been thinking. About what? I have my greeting ready. You were asking me to say hello to the table earlier? Do you have nothing to say? I want to hear it. To where the dragon is. A gangster bar to a Yakuza office building. A really nice place. To meet the dragon. The dragon? Like that dragon? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Like a fantasy world with swords and magic. And you're going to teleport me there. Woohoo! I'm getting fired up. Getting fired up? All right, so so no no matter what, it would always be the song like that. She didn't completely understand, but didn't have time to care. I took Iris to the Kumakuras. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at the dragon! So cool. So this is a crime syndicate building, right? Yep. Yeah, the Kumakuras. Trying to make me believe this was some kind of fantasy world? No. No. That's what you thought. This guy's here's a big fan. Dante lied to me. Her curves, her posture, her beautiful Dante, slim you legs. Bastard. You made Tessa cry. Uh oh. M Mister, save me! Throw this man into Tokyo Bay. Got it. I'll have him sleeping with the fishes. No. This is an interesting turn of events. I can hardly believe it. But Mama, uh, I, I held up my end of the deal. Honestly, I honest to God, I thought for a second it was gonna be a bad end there, and I would have to go back and pick something else for uh for the in, in Lemon Skate. Like I honest to God that would that was a fade to black game over. Holy crap. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? Iris is standing there. Sincerely apologize. Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. Ooh. Is contradictory as meatless beef. His the eyes are bigger. was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after totally I dead, took the way. over, we went crystal clean. Crystal? Methamphetamines. No, we don't do drugs. Crystal. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure Glass the whole set. operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. No, not like that. Hey, Iris, what do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? Boobs. Huh? I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? Yeah. Uh, not really. No, no, really. Picture two lanterns pushed together, and you put your face between them. There's something that reminds you of? Lanterns. What, you mean boobs? Yeah. Damn it, MoMA. You're not supposed to say it. Oh, she liked that. Tessa, let's have a party. No thanks. Because we saw partition party. Poor thing. What you did to that tiger is awful. Oh, that's fake. It's not, is it? Restaurants will take forever to fulfill your bottomless drink orders, so order them all up front. It's not allowed. Last one's schedule is written on the board. 23rd, Hot Springs Sommelier exam. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to, you can double right click to recenter the camera. Oh, that's good. So. Over the weekend. Oh, excuse me. Um, I finally, uh, I finally messed around with one of my Christmas presents. So for, for Christmas, um, I received, uh, some plaid shirts i put my red one on and i was rachel amber and while i was rachel amber i um i i got an arrow press and a french press to see if, if there's any kind of better coffee that we like also got a little bean grinder i got some beans um so i i messed i messed around with the uh with the french press all right so um, I'm not sure if was, a lot of you are into coffee, probably, but right now all the coffee I've, I've had has been through um, through a Keurig machine. And the Keurig machine, I think most people are familiar with it, but for those who aren't, a Keurig machine, at least the one that we have, uh, you put like a, a pre prepackaged little little white capsule that you slot into the top of the machine. It heats up a bunch of water. When you put the capsule in, it punctures it, and there's some some like sometimes it's tea leaves, sometimes it's coffee, and it will spray hot water very fast through the capsule and um and uh and drip down into like it's not really dripping it's more like it's not like a drip coffee thing it's it's a very fast spray to make the uh to make the coffee um and that's the coffee that we've had so far so um very easy to make very convenient and that's what we do so we got i got a french press I've been drinking that for about like I don't know two years. We got a French press and Aero press. I tried the French press. So here's what I did. All right. So I got I, I looked it up. I looked up how to do it because it was a little confusing. But um, but I got there. So I take the the plunger thing out. I use the bean grinder. Um, it, it said that I wanted two level scoops for for uh, for two cups of coffee. But then when I used the bean grinder, I, I set it to you know coarseness for the French press and then hit the grind and it spewed out a bunch of ground up beans. It was really scary and cool. And I and it was more than two scoops. It was three scoops. So I was like, you know what? I'm living dangerously. I'm gonna put three scoops in instead of two scoops. So I put all the scoops in into the French press. I boil the water. I let it sit for a minute after the water is boiled. I pour all of the all of the hot water into the French press and then I stir it with a big plastic thing. Okay, right, I do that. And then I put the plunger on the French press. I let it sit for about four or five minutes, all right? Four or five minutes, all right? A lot of cleaning to do, a lot, lot of things to do, okay? But this is what it was, all right? Like a big setup. I plunge it down after five minutes. And I, and I pour, it was very fancy. I pour the coffee out into two cups. Meanwhile, across the room, Lily is using the Keurig machine to make two of our old kind of coffees so we can do a taste test. It was a very complicated thing, okay? All right, so we so we, so we we do this. The punchline better be fucking sell it. It's not, so I hope you enjoy. This is just a bullshit story, okay? So uh, she, Lily makes two Keurig cup co coffees over there, all right? I, br I finished the French press coffees. I put them down onto the table, all right? And we have in front of us two cups each, all right? One cup f new French press coffee made the exact same way as the Keurig cup coffee, except, you know, the coffee comes from different sources. Lily has, has her has her coffee on the her side of the table, okay? All right, so we pick up our cups and we both take a sip of the Keurig cup, co Keurig cup coffee. We take a sip and we're like, all right, all right, yep, yeah, that's the coffee that we know. That's our coffee, that's our coffee. And we both take a take the French press coffee and we take a big sip of it and we both look at each other and we're like, well, it's not that different. Like I, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm like, yeah, I, I agree. And Lily's like, I don't know if that's really worth the trouble of like how much work went into using the French press in or it, compared to compared to the Keurig cup. Like the like it, it tastes a little better, but at the same time, it's like like holy shit. Like it, that, that was a lot more work for just a little bit of better coffee. And I was like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. All right, that's that's what it is. Anyway. And then we took another sip of the Keurig cup coffee after that. And I almost gagged. I, I cannot tell you, there has never been a time in my life that I have changed my mind and done a 180 on something faster about anything in my entire fucking life as when I went back to the Keurig coffee after taking a mouthful of the French press coffee. I, I I didn't even I didn't even finish the Keurig cup coffee. I, I couldn't do it. 
it was so bad like it, it tasted like sour and just rotten and burnt and just like and the other coffee was like it didn't really have enough of a coffee flavor i feel but it was so much smoother like i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe i don't understand like lily was the exact same thing too L lily like was like she went back to the curry cup coffee afterwards and she was like what the fuck i don't get it has anyone ever had like 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 that different like I, I i don't understand how starting at keurig going to the french press and being like yeah that was a little better and then going back to the keurig was just like oh my god what the fuck just absolute awful it was terrible i can't drink it anymore i can't drink it anymore so i um i i yeah th thank you sarah yeah exactly congratulations you ruined lazy coffee for yourself yeah i i i made a co that was on saturday so on sunday i made another coffee for myself because i really wanted coffee in the morning and it, it took so long to make the goddamn fucking coffee <laughs> It's like two so long. It's like God damn it! This, this is a whole ten-minute production. Whereas it used to just be put the fucking water in with the fucking bidet hose that we have on the kitchen sink, and then just hit the button and it's done. But now I have to like, I have to do fucking chemistry to do like the fucking coffee, man. For what is French press coffee? You don't know what a French press is? For Fr French press coffee is like. Um, you, so when, when you make coffee with instant, very finely ground coffee, you can pretty much just pour the coffee in and the coffee dissolves into the, into the water and you can just drink it. French press coffee uses a, more of a coarse bean and, um, what happens is, is that you, like you mix it in with the water and then you put the press part in, which is this, this, it's like, it's not a filter in the same way of like, like a, a paper filter. It's like a metal mesh that is small enough that the coarse ground coffee can't get through it. And you, it's like a, like a plunging action that, that kind of just forces pre or presses in this case, presses all the grounds down through the water as, as you push it down through the, through like the big cup that you've brewed it in. And then you can pour it out and all the grounds are stuck in the bottom and all the coffee that has the, all the water has the coffee flavors at the top and you can pour it out um it's it's pretty it was pretty good it was pretty good i i'm i i'm stunned at how much better it is than the uh than the uh the cure egg cup i had a similar experience when getting a new pc and high high refresh rate monitor playing at 30 fps afterwards literally made me feel nauseous yeah i had the experience i had that experience twice actually i think i've said this on stream before i had the experience when i went up to 60 frames per second i was like oh my god i can see the difference but the really fucked up thing and i don't know I i'm gonna guess i don't actually see 144 hertz but when i got a 144 hertz monitor i could see all the difference between that and 60 and i was like oh no i'm one of these people now i'm like oh god i like god damn it like I can re like just just moving the mouse around um, on the desktop, it was just so much smoother. I could see it. Um, I don't know where it caps out though. You absolutely, you can absolutely see 144 hertz. C can I though? I thought everyone was different. Like if I had 90 hertz monitor and I had 100, 144 next to it, would I be able to see a difference? I guess that would be a good test. I like making cold brew with a French press. I don't I don't mess around with with cold brew. I'm not a part of that scene yet. I don't like that. You know? So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to be a cold brew um, drinker, but yeah, a cold brew enjoyer. But yeah, I, yeah, I highly recommend um, French press coffee. Um, I'm gonna try the AeroPress next, I think. That might be a little better on the cleanup, but um, but yeah. But if you don't wanna ruin coffee for yourself by making it uh, take more time, then don't do it. I've heard that drip coffee is pretty good. It's the Keurig cup is, is pretty bad, but fresh uh freshly ground beans that you put into a drip coffee yourself it can 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 be really good what happened to mr okira i heard he escaped the hospital so did i but i don't know anything more than that please tell me Ranger's escape from the hospital was strange three things stuck out to me one I laid out the facts. Here we go. With cold brew, you can do the work at night and it'll be ready in the morning. C can I, Verdox, can I make a cold brew and then in, in the morning put that bitch in the microwave and then turn my cold brew into an easily heated up hot brew coffee? Delightfully devilish streamer. Can I do, can I do that? That sounds like you are a psycho. Why am I a psychopath? No, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with that? That would make me a criminal. Cold brew is mostly water. Coffee is mostly water. 
Well, almost everything is mostly water. That sounds gross. I don't know. Maybe it'd be good. It'd probably be gross. I agree. Literal Germa moment. You know what? I I have to I have to hit back against the fucking Germa and Northern Lion bits. All right. Germa does not own rants. I don't understand. Where where's this coming from? Just like I was talking about like like having a shower, and if you ever go over to someone's house, like expect them to have a shower, and someone is shouting literal literal Northern Lion bit. Like what what is this fucking like? Oh, basic social interaction is suddenly owned by Northern Lion. Oh yo yo we we, we just we, Joe's telling a story about going to a restaurant and like having to like be like play a little bit of a game with the guests about who's going to have to pay for the check, and you have to be like oh I'm gonna pay this time, and then next time we go, it's, it turns out that you went ahead and paid before the check even came to get them back like oh fucking northern line bit no it's not it's just fucking basic social interaction no line doesn't own paying for things and tipping at a fucking restaurant like what the fuck is it yeah this is the germa bit this is the germa bit all right mizuki was lured to a place where so shoko's body was found by a by a message sent from renju's phone discount northern line excuse me i have it known i am discount matthew matosis i'm not discount northern lion Fuck you. Fuck you. Get it right. Get it right. I found Iris's body in Okira Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, where they have cold brew, heated up in the microwave. Earlier today, Renju fled with a prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Or flip it upside down, it's actually All 68. Right. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Oh, well... Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. Yep. A parallel world? Never heard of it? <laughs> I visited Joe's stream and thought it was pretty good. Then I went to try the German stream and thought they were, were the same. Then I went back to Joe's stream and I nearly gagged. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. How will I, I ever am. recover? Damn. Owned. Owned yeah, hard. Yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. And who pinned Of course she did. A hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. The actual rare funny chat message. Don't, don't encourage them! Don't encourage them! Oh, uh, yeah. I haven't introduced this old man yet. Oh. I'm 24! No, you're not. Mama is lying. He is at least 48. Hold on. Let me check my psychic file. I know exactly how old he is. Wait, what? Updated. Uh. Momo is 48. Okay, so this is from um, from uh, Alba's perspective, I guess. I wonder if she's just making shit up. Name unknown, sex male, early 40s, unknown, 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 mysterious. Okay, this is just the same shit as last time. Absolutely. Oh, there's a picture now. Okay. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. Uh-oh. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. Uh, how did you know that? Is he stupid? We already went through this. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASET fan. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. Bet, debt, ASET! Worries. Uh, forget, fret, ASET! Now what does she say? ASET, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. Kind of? But sorry, MoMA. I don't like gangsters. Oh no, well, he'll quit. <gasps> I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> uh. 
Paris is saying there. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Because I'm asking. Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. Wait, 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 wait. no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. Whoa. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. Oh no. No. No? Maybe? No. 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 I. Okay. They're out. Looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. Her mom is 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 thirty something. Oh, you you think that's our real mom? Come on, this is anime. Oh, you thought I was her real mom? You never asked. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So tell me where he is. Mm, I could. Wait, is so your dad? Hey, I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. Date, come here. Mama took me to this corner of the room. Date, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Just ask oh, yourself. That's it? Sure. <gasps> Mama and I broke our huddle. <laughs> Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't say that! Oh, sorry. But you, but you do, though. Was, he wants to shake your hand. <laughs> oh, a handshake. Sure. I would never show my boobs. Iris took Mama's hand gently and shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. One. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Second, Ikume Shrine. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Damn, we're really getting a lot of reuse out of those assets. <laughs> Got it, thanks. Got it. No problem, bro, really. Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! What? You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. <laughs> are you serious? What? Look at his face! Yeah, we're not actually gonna not do to that, are we? He runs a crime syndicate. Yeah. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that! I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. You go home on time? See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? What about Shovel Forge? I told Forge? you I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date. D Date! Is this true? Date. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Alright, are we gonna Take whip me with you? Are we gonna whip out our gun, think it's set the stun bullets, have forgotten that we don't have the evolver, and it's just a real gun and just blast this guy right in his head? This is like, oh sh oh no! Uh-oh! Do 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 time to leave. <laughs> if you do, I'll tell you about last night. What happened last night? Her late night visitor. Oh yeah, okay. Fine. Yay! Date! Don't ignore me! A clean gang? Oh, that's just a toy. Is this better than Zero Escape? Um, it's definitely better than, than Zero Time Dilemma for like unironic enjoyment. Uh, 
I don't. Uh, based on the runtime so far, I would say that this is not better than than 999 or VLR from from their respective places in the story. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. We have two places to Doesn't check. Doesn't Carlos? That is pretty Sunfish good. Fish pocket and Yukume shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too, where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, my chest. Arts getting hard to breathe. You need some food too. Wait, what? Mama's sitting on the other side of the desk. Okay, let's go get some food. Get some grub. The diner. Wait, we're gonna go there to eat? Can't we go anywhere else? Food. I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Oh, they actually do? Yes, right away. So are you making the food, or...? I just watched him go and took a seat. Yeah, looks like Ota's making the food. Date, you're drooling. I want a beer. Oh, I'm just really hungry. Oh, that's Payashi Samba's Hayashi Vangole. Who? Who? Birger? Hey, Date. I've got this video of girls in bikinis washing this armored car. Wanna watch? Absolutely not. Later. Meow. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Really? Meow? Guess I'll have good luck. So Mayumi's juice with Whoops. mold. So remember the calendar says January looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. Hey, what has two hands on its face? A mom playing peekaboo! Uh yeah, exactly. Alright. Family photo. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. She's in the living room. You have a I living room? I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. He means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? We're on a date. <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Oh, oh. oh. A date? Uh-oh. I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? No, thanks. I'm fine. For no reason at all, let's save it. For no, for no reason at all. Let us save. Yeah, my dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure, my treat, Date. Ice is in front of me. Omelet rice. Ota's omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. What? Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. 
Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. Does she understand this dynamic or no? She must, right? She doesn't seem stupid. Kuroda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. Ring ring. Who's on the phone? Banana phone. Who cares? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. That's not true. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean, coming back to life? She was deed. Uh... How is it still pinned, Anu? How how long is it, you pinned it for like what an hour? What what the hell? How is it still pinned? Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. <laughs> Tessa died. Yep. Dead. I, I how do we get to set from from dead? Dead. Nope, I can't. I can't do it. Dead casket, a set. Yeah, casket. I get regret, a set. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Upset, well, regret. Ace yeah, I'm bad at this. Um... Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Why? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Anything? Mm-hmm. Anything. Date, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Why exactly is that? What do you think, Alba? All right, let's do this. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Don't One, be a choice. One, two, three, shoot. Don't be a choice. Oh, uh, no. Shoot. <gasps> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go. Calm down. You're going to pop a blood vessel. But I made a promise. What do you want me to do? We're going to the Tommy. Uh, um, <laughs> if it's no trouble, I want to see your. See what? Let, let me see. <laughs> see. I will kill you if you say it. See. Uh, seal. I, I meant seal. Seal? Seal. Not the smoothest recovery. Clap like a seal. Oh, I get it. You want to see me imitate a seal? Ye no, no, Iris, please. Okay, well, here it goes, I guess. Is this doing it for one of you? Tessa, what are you doing? Oh! What the? <laughs> you just played rock, paper, scissors, right? <laughs> you won, and you made me be a seal for some reason. But in a different timeline, maybe we tied. Or maybe I got a prize from you. If I had chosen rock or paper. So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. No, 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 don't start explaining it. Please, no, please, please, please. You think I jumped from a world in which dead? No, 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 no. Parallel world, huh? No. Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? 
Booba Kiki. Or the 100 million balls. If I explain that, would you believe me? 100 million balls? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. I've heard people talking about it. So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room, and her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. And she's gone. She was really going to let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be oh. seen. Okay. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. And you never saw but her then again. B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. What? Yeah. What B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future. And there's a missing persons report out for you. Uh-huh. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts, <gasps> and it's filled with names you don't recognize. <gasps> Sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. And it's not like Korea or China. What are you cooking? It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. Uh. What? Wait, what is this right now? This feels like... This feels like Discount June. What, 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 what the... F what? Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. What? The spatial temporal man. Oh no. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. The spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. <laughs> he tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. Did you guys rehearse this? So, this elementary school kid? So? Let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. <gasps> How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. Alba, are we just- we're just letting this go, Alba? Really? There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. A? Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, after school, they're walking home together. Suzuki? A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke. And she's gone. And Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. What? What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. Oh man, this is a prime example of a parallel world. Yeah, that just happens. It turns out that the main character had, uh, that, that, that student A had just slipped to a, a parallel world where eyes are just capable of falling out of their sockets. And that's the only thing that's different over there. The nerves were still connected, but... 
A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. So A asks him about it. Like, hey, no. are you okay? No. Your eyes fell out. No. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious, but he's not getting any answers. So they just part ways and go home. And then as they walk through the door, they sneeze and then their eyes popped out. The story and they just only gets right weirder from here. Oh, does it? Okay. The next day, A goes to school and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? Who's Suzuki? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. A says, what are you talking about? <gasps> And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Okay, what about the eyes, though? Why, w w were the eyes like a, like foreshadowing? W w w Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No. A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. And this is a true story, well, remember? It is yeah, so weird. There's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Yeah, that's, that's, well, yeah. not necessarily. Th that's the part that sticks out to me, too. It really makes the story feel more authentic. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. What? Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are easy to replace in their sockets. Okay, whoa, 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 like for a doctor right like easy for someone who knows what they're doing right like yeah as got long it. as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged there okay are there we go no all right lasting negative effects either okay but that doesn't prove this suzuki exists well i guess not but all right Oh, I was quietly making all my sense. Qui quietly, quietly. 100 million, but there, there are six, we're going through all of them. Oh my God. This world is full of really interesting stuff. This world stuff. is full. But you know the most interesting thing of all? Balls. No, what? Balls. That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular No, not here. this shit again. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. D like fucking twice in two of your fucking games in a row. Whoever made this. Don't do this to me again. No, 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 no. It is, it is not that. Oh, it just so happens that the fucking world, the, the fucking conditions in the universe are perfect for humans. Wow, what a coincidence. It's like, no, it's that the conditions came first and humans were rose came to be in that environment that's why they're suited to it because the fucking environment was here first no don't do this again if no things were even slightly oh my fucking god well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all and that means humans would never be born and even if everything happened exactly like that the probability of human life developing is extremely low and yet here we are Imagine a box full of ping pong balls, labeled one to a hundred million. Okay, Junae. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. Yeah, I could. But what if there were one hundred million of you? Eventually, someone's got to well, have it. One of us would definitely pick up the one. Yeah. Exactly. The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. It's literally Junae. It's literally Junae. Is it literally Junae? I mean, like, is it? Is this literally Junae? Hey, Junae. Dante, look at this picture. I just pulled up a picture on her phone. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. Is there? You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Okay. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Oh, I do know this one. Everyone says Booba and this one's Kiki. Well, most people do because Kiki is sharp and it's like sharp kind of thing. And Booba is like more more bulbous and the, you get an association with the how the words sound and everything with what they look like. Yeah, I've, I've seen this before, yeah. Believe okay. it or not, 
98% of people asked have the same answer. I believe it. It makes the sense. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged one is Kiki. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? In other words, no. everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It's not weird at all. It applies universally across languages and cultures. All right. That one's a little weird. Actually, I doubt this, but yeah, that, that that's kind of weird. All of them? It's like something ingrained inside all humans. I doubt it's all of them. But even then, that's a bit weird. The Mandela effect. Like worshipping the sun in the sea. Or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. Actually, maybe it's not weird. Maybe it's just how, no matter what, no matter what the culture and people you are, the, the way that you, the, the, the way they, if they bring the name, the name isn't being translated, right? It's always Booba and Kiki, right? So Kiki is going to have, no matter what your language you're speaking, or no matter what your culture is, if you say Kiki, it has a sharp kind of sound to it, right? No matter what. And, like it's not like the names are being translated because otherwise yeah so it's it's got it's got to be that so it's not weird at all actually i will convince you about the anthropic principle i don't necessarily disagree with the anthropic principle in in um in other cases that they explained it but the way that they've explained it that um the universe just so happens to be perfect and that's why humans are here is is completely asinine and backwards it's like the reason humans are here is not because oh this is the only fucking place that we could be it's that the the place came first and we were evolved in this environment that, that's why but that doesn't mean that the anthropic principle is, is complete bullshit in all other aspects i don't i i don't even think it's bullshit at all i don't really know enough about it to say it's bullshit i don't think it's being properly applied in this example i guess is the better way to say it that's what you said about it think of it like bamboo Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... A parallel world? Okay, this is... Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? This is straight up zero skip again. What, what the hell? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. Did Zero Escape come out in this world? Have you played it? What's the canon of this universe? Have you have you played Zero Escape? Does it exist in this world? Oda, can I have a computer? That's a Martian. That's just a stool. Wait, there was a Zero Escape poster banner in in one of the loading screens. So it exists. You've just played Zero Escape. I'm on to this. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? So, the Mandela effect... There's only two examples of the Mandela effect that I, I agree with. I am one of these people that does have this have this memory. I also thought this and I don't know why. But I don't know enough about it to like maybe I just saw people say this in response to this and I thought yeah I thought and that connected with a memory, you know, that sort of thing. And the other one is the the Bernstein bears. Like to me they were the Bernstein bears. Um those those are the two that I I have definitely experienced myself. I'm not saying the Mandela effect is real. I I don't think so. Although it could be, I guess. It's it's fun. Um like the more fucked up thing about the Mandela effect and thinking about it is like, what if what if you often switch to jump to a different universe in a reality, your consciousness just kind of morphs to a different reality. It's only slightly different, and there's all these little imperceptible things that are building up, and you don't even realize it. You know, that that's that's gonna keep you up at night and cook your Mister Noodle. But um, but I the only two that I've ever been like, yeah, I I I also think the same way as the Mandela and the Berenstain Bears. Yeah. That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. 
I've yet to encounter a Mandela effect not def diffusible with research. What do you mean by diffusible with research? So, uh, unless I'm misunderstanding what you're saying, um, you you can't. It's not really provable either way because the whole point of the Mandela effect is that you have morbed over to a different reality where it didn't happen. So if you went back and tried to research how it happened, you're in a reality where that where it didn't happen. So you can't even confirm or deny it. Did Looney Tunes slash Tunes catch you? I don't remember thinking strongly either way. So like if, if you showed me either, I'd be like, I guess that's what it was, you know? Mandela effect being wrong about something in the past? Almost certainly, yeah. But it's it's fun to think about things in a different way. What about the Pikachu one? What about the Pikachu one? I don't know the Pikachu one. Weirdos devised in high school thought to cope with forgetting something with their dumb monkey brain. I will say that that's probably what it is, but at the same time, it is kind of weird that so many people thought something very, very specific. That's why it's that's why the Mandela effect is called the Mandela effect, is because this is a very, very specific thing. It's like why would so many people have all remembered this one thing together? And who knows? Maybe it's just something to do with like the birth of the internet. This is one of the first things that kind of like, that joined together, and that's probably what it is. Yeah, but um, it's not like oh, dumb mon monkey brain. We all forgot something simple like this is something very specific you know i think that's why it's stuck look a chair for baby goats why would anyone bring a goat to a restaurant it's also fun to like be objectively wrong about something but still get to argue it <laughs> like like in my head i i'm objectively wrong that it was berenstein bears like but in my head, it was. It was Bernstein Bears. Like, and, and it's it's fun to say, like, n like no, universe, you're wrong. No, you. Like, like I don't care that you're showing me all this proof that it's Bernstein Bears. But, like, in my head, like, no, it's it's Bernstein. It's Bernstein. Like, no, fuck you. It's Bernstein. Like, what do you mean? And, and then you get to, like, no, it's Mandela Effect. It's not that I misremembered. It's that I have jumped to a different reality where this, this E was an A. <laughs> What's this? No other explanation. <laughs> there are lots of examples, like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. There we go. Yeah. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. Wait, what? But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Okay. See, see that one's bullshit because it's like in my mind I went, wait, it was a two-seater car, and it's a six-seater. Okay, I don't, I don't remember four-seat, six-seat. Like, who cares? Huh. I thought it was a four-seater too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. Mm. And the design didn't change. Oh. Mm. Lines from movies, company logos, mm. historical events, and little things. No, I don't think I remember Pikachu having a black tip tail. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. When did you two get so knowledgeable? Chat, what would have happened if we got a tie in the in the um in the rock, paper, scissors, and what would have happened if I lost? Do we wanna do we want to uh save and do it again? Load it up and see. Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. Is she? That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh. Oh, hey. I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. If you want, we could talk about those. Jumpy? Maybe next time. Now, where's that omelet rice? What did you do to him? Done. Would have brought the dish over. He laid out an omelet rice in front of me and Iris. It's got ketchup on it. Iris grabbed her spoon with a huge smile on her face. Bon appetit. Bon apple tea. She picked up a spoonful. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoonful. What? 
she forgot how to use a spoon. Um. Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. Do -do 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 -do. My hand slipped. Okay. Let's eat. What was that there? Iris and I ate the omelet rice in your silence. There was no conversation. Um, just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it. That was weird. And before long. Ah, thanks for the food. I was just totally re-energized. All right, does does the does the other part, the other half of her brain, hate omelet rice? No, I hate this. Throw the spoon. Her face was back to her usual easy smile. That was good. Okay. Oh, to your omelet rice is seriously the best. My stomach is cramping because yeah. my other half of my really brain good. is rebelling, doesn't like oh, it. Thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. I paid for the food instead of go. We have to pay. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. I'm sitting next to Iris. Iris is standing in front. Of that was weird. What the hell? <gasps> See? Zero escape is real. Right, let's go to. Why are we going to the cold storage warehouse again? Let's go to Sunfish Pocket. I saw familiar faces I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. Wait, what? Mizuki, why are you here? Wow. This is surprising. What's going on here? I love Mizuki. Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's... Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You could even live with me if you want. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. Wait, what? This girl. Hey, this is gonna be an opening. Is is this your evolution? Like, like, what what the hell? Is that why you're here? Holy shit! Hey, Iris. All right, can I, like... All right, let's go back. I wanna see, let's save it. Okay, so flow chart. Her dad is the owner. Oh yeah, that's true, her dad is the owner. All right, so reopen investigation. I wanna go back to Matsushi Diner, right? This isn't good, we're not gonna do the third one. Okay, what did we do last time? We went with paper, so let's do rock or let's do scissors. Shoot! Yay! I won! Oh no 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 no! You see, this this looks like scissors, but it, it's actually paper. That doesn't make any sense. What the hell, Date? No! Why did I throw out scissors? Why? You're really not taking <laughs> this well. So right. I get my prize. Do you want us to imitate I don't a seal? Have any money? I don't want money. How are you paying for food then? Instead. Yeah. Can you pet my head and say Iris is a cutie cutie? 
the cutest person in the whole wide world, a cutie angel. Fine. Iris is a cutie cutie. No, no, no. Put your heart into it. Rex, sir. Pirate is blushy crushy for you. Iris is no, a no, cutie no. cutie, the cutest Pyra person needs in to the do whole wide world, a cutie angel. I repeated the whole thing while petting Iris on the head. <laughs> Alright, so... We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? I won and you pet me. But in a different timeline, maybe we tied. Or maybe I obeyed your orders and did something really scandalous. Rewind time, do it now! I do not have that functionality. I do. So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. Okay, so... So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? Is this a trope or what? I don't know. Okay, so let's let's jump to the other one now. So we did that. So let's go back to the, uh, the thing. All right. I don't think we need to see the tie. Is the tie good? Is it worth it? Isn't she underage? Not only did they explicitly say that she's 18, they also said, went, went on to say that she's probably older than that and lying that she's she's only 18. No, it's not worth it. Okay, let's uh, let's go to um, the maid cafe then. I saw a familiar face as I entered. It was Mizuki. Iris and I sat at Mizuki's table. This is surprising. By the way, check. just because she's 18 doesn't mean that that interaction was okay. That was fucking weird. Honestly, even if she's 24. <laughs> What's going on here? Those are some nice hip bones. Yeah. Well, a triple ward sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. That's an awful. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs! She wields extraordinary power with that trident. The Okiura family is really something else. Okay, you know what? It's probably a good time to take a break because we're like a minute away from it and uh, I can park the, 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 the view. Um, do we want to do we want to look at the tridents? We don't want to look at this, right? We want to look at the trident. Whatever. This will probably get more views. All right, here we go. Welcome to the thumbnail. All right, right back.
I look, the better it gets. I've heard that Renji was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Hey, sorry. I knew the microphone was muted. I was just eating something. I didn't want to chew while um while uh I didn't want to chew audibly into the microphone. So I thought they they would talk a little bit. But then I noticed um when I was about to unmute the, unmute the microphone that um my bottle cap was missing off my desk. Cause while I was gone, the dog stole my bottle cap and I had to go look for it. I found it though. They didn't they didn't need it. They chewed it a bit, but they didn't need it. You didn't ask. You never asked. And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed him. Here's my number. All I'm hearing are all these reasons just to... Okay, yeah, give her your number. He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. What? Looking for me? Why? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Azuki? I don't know either. Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. Blood loss. Perhaps. But are we even on the same timeline where that happens? Maybe we morbed. Wow. Those are some gorgeous hips. <laughs> uh, my hips? Oops, I said that out loud. You are now officially a creep. I meant chips, fish and chips. Fantastic hips. I'm just saying, that's a really nice pelvis. Nice. Really does like the pelvis. Just waiting for the right time. Those two shells on their chests are working hard too, in their own way. Pictures of girls on display. I will say, sometimes the reuse of the environments is cool. I like that um, you could have come here on this timeline first and not known that there was a murder that took place here. What if there's another area that we've been to that there's going to be a murder in a different timeline that we don't know about? A trident. Can see kitchen back there. Whoa, he's back. This is a real interesting place. Keep at it, girls. 
All right, so I'm gonna say something a little ignorant and I apologize in advance for being ignorant, but this is just how I feel. And I think I'm probably wrong to feel this way, but I feel this way and I wanna see if anyone else agrees with me, okay? I'm about to say something a little ignorant, all right? I think that the way that in restaurants and everything that cooks have to address the head chef as chef in the same way that you have to address like a doctor as doctor and all this other shit and professor is kind of cringe. I don't like that, man. Like, like the the cap, the captain, my captain, chef, 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 chef. To me, I think it's kind of cringe. I think that like sh being a chef is definitely a, a respectable position, and some people can really take it far with with how they can take the artistry of preparing food and everything. But come on, you're not a captain of a ship or like a, like a professor or a, a doctor. Like, come on, you shouldn't watch. You should watch the menu, maybe. In fact, chef means boss in French. I guess, I'm, I think I'm okay with general boss. They have to, I don't know, if they have to, that's even more cringe. If it's just something that they do, then okay, I guess it's fine. Neo Tamori, 780 yen. Eating sushi off a naked woman for 780 yen? Let's go, we're going. I've made up my mind and my heart. Oh, that sign is wrong. Someone added letters. Oh. It's supposed to say Nitayumori. Boiled newt. Oh. Off a naked woman? Boiled newt. Oh. <laughs> Boiled newt. 780 yen. Honestly, that's almost as intriguing as the body sushi. Ooh. Tell me you've never worked in the kitchen without telling me you've never worked in the kitchen. I, I, I feel like, you know, I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> It's a sign of respect. Maybe signs of respect are kind of cringe. I don't know. Like, maybe I don't like it for doctors either. Maybe I just have a problem with titles in general. If I was friends with a doctor, I wouldn't call them doctor. And if they wanted me to, they wouldn't be the, wouldn't be my friend. But in a professional setting, if you're just standing around with doctor, 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 what do you think about this? I don't know, doctor. What do you think about this? That's getting kind of silly, isn't it? very sh true streamer well streamer is more of a descriptive title rather than like any sign of respect or anything that's just like hey hey streamer hey chatter where chef it's like it's said with uh, a certain amount of reverence i think that's the difference hmm i don't know like i said it's ignorant i'm probably wrong why are you asking me about that i was just curious that company was made by my grandpa. Do your kids call you by your first name? We considered it for a while, actually, but I don't think dad is a respectful title. It's just more of a descriptor. It's like, that's that's dad, you know? No, no. Yes, chef is make something, sure something is heard, like, over on the radio. Oh, if that's the case, because the, the kitchens can get really awkward? Mm, okay, that's probably fine, then. If that's true, then, then that's, uh... Then that makes me okay with it, actually, yeah. What about goons going right away, boss? You gotta boss. Well, in in that in that profession, respect is very important. You gotta have respect, or else you might lose control of your of your people, and you might get killed. That's that's not what it's like in a kitchen, right? But Daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. Whoa, it was That's an option. It. Look. Uh oh. She's lying? She's hitting the thing like Oda. <laughs> she may just be excited or upset. Chefs get paid like shit, give them this. Shit. Hold on. Chefs that are paid like shit are still being called. How is it still pinned? Haha! -ha! I've unpinned it! I've unpinned it! Oh, I figured it out! Haha! -ha! Unpinned! Unpinned! Um, e chefs, even chefs that are, um,. Paid poorly? Like, I assume that a chef that is paid very low amounts is going to be in a kitchen where they're not going to be called chef. Am I wrong? Or 
Is it any chef in any kitchen in the world in a restaurant? They still call whoever's in charge chef, chef, chef. Really? I don't know. I'm curious. The police asked me a bunch of questions, but I don't know where he is. What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? Yep. Why do you care what I do? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Um, excuse me. The roommate took me to the corner of the store. Oh, yeah? Mizuki was crying earlier. Oh, no. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was, and we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. Yeah, you're being a pretty bad roommate, Shogun's Date. Is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. I did not abandon her. Kind of did, bro. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. If I did a cooking stream, would you all have to call me chef? Because if so... Yes, yes, chef. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's go. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. If I make French press coffee on stream, am I? That's cooking, right? Right? <laughs> yes, Brewer. Please, Brewer. Try to understand. Mizuki is sitting there. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. What's that? This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. It's true, yep. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Okay. Don't you get it? Date's over. This date isn't over yet. It's over. Here in the ship, Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He yeah, he really supported her. Whoa, he even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. Wait, what? I got hired by Lemon Escape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content, like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. What is this family dynamic that's going on? That's kind of kind of weird. Gross. Okay, look. All right. Changing diapers is, you know, it's gross. All right, but fellas, you just have to do it. Okay, like you don't be one of those dads that's like, ew, I'm not gonna change your diaper. Like, come on, grow the fuck up. Like. If there's any part of your part time of your life to grow up, it's after you have created another person. Just just fucking change the diaper. It's not that big of a deal, man. It's really not. Just change the fucking diaper. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniscape. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Her talent? Dancing, really. People that, are, is what got her into people that are grossed up by washing dishes. Okay, if you're grossed up by washing dishes, I think you have a problem. And I don't want to make fun of you for having a problem. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to. Um, I think that if if you are that kind of person that is such, like, like, like unironically now a germaphobe, if you are a germaphobe to that point that you don't like cleaning up that sort of thing, and you are thinking about having a child, 
um, you need to like have a very, very serious discussion with your partner. Um, may maybe you're the mother to be that's that doesn't want to do those things. Um, and you're gonna have to have a very serious discussion with your partner and be like, look, I I'm not going to be changing any diapers. And I just want you to know that going in, that's not going to happen. And instead of, you know, cause you're taking all of the diaper duty, I will do X, Y, and Z instead to make up for that. But you have to go understand that going in. And if that's a deal breaker, then you just, you just don't have a kid, I guess. Unless you want to um, hire someone like to look after the baby while they're in baby mode, but like diapers go on for a while, let me tell you. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. There are a lot of um, a lot of bad parents out there when it comes to doing that sort of sort of thing. By the way, why are these so tight? What the hell? I remember a story I read on Reddit, so it's probably not true, but I'm going to take it as true because it's interesting. There was a story on Reddit of um, someone that said they, they work in a um, they work in a child daycare, and uh, they would change the diaper of the kid that was there at the end of daycare, and the end of daycare was like I don't know five o'clock, something like that. They would change the, the daycare, they would change the diaper, and they started to suspect that the the kid wasn't getting diaper changes at home, so they started marking the diaper with like a permanent marker on the outside, and then they would confirm that when the kid came back the next day in the morning, that he was still he or she was still wearing the same diaper that they had put on them at the end of the day the previous day. That's just like like what the hell are you doing? Like that's so terrible. Some parents just do not want to change their their diapers and some some parents will just let their kids like They don't like challenge them to get potty trained and like, you know There's they're five six seven and they're still wearing diapers like what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. Why these people have children to not divorce? I think a lot of people have children without really wanting children. They just, they just kind of, it just kind of happens. I see a lot of these kind of, kind of people around, around Moncton actually, where you will see like the, 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 the young parents walking down with like this like skeletal kind of stroller and the, the, the father is always like walking like 10, 15 feet ahead of the mother who has to be the one that pushes the stroller and he's got his 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 hoodie up and he's just like I can't believe I have to go out here walking with my kids and just and they're always smoking too. You see this kind of archetype of uh of these uh of these couples with their uh with their kid where it's just like oh fuck I guess we had a kid, you know? It's back here. How did you find it? What the hell? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever, whatever. She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work too. We'd go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Whoa! Blow those boys away! Oh, yeah, shit! Blow those boys! Mizuki, uh. <sighs> You really shouldn't say that. That's a minus two for me, Chief. More than sleeping and eating? Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body ever since I was a little girl. The pin message is a fake? Wait, wait, wait. Unless you got the same person to restate the message and then you pinned it. It wasn't K. It wasn't K. Nope. Nope. You need to get the same person. Un unpin. Unpin. Has to be the same person that did it. And you're fast. Fake. Yeah. I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Track meets? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Hey, want to hear check something Discord? cool? Why, why do I have to check Discord? What, what's what's going on on Discord? Fake. Oh, it's the fake pin scandal. It's going on uh, in, in Discord. Okay, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Has to be the same person. No, no, no you, you're, all, you're all saying it, and it doesn't matter. It's not going to get pinned. It has to be the same person. 
Or are you all are you all saying it so th it's harder to find the real person who is is uh who pinned it? You're just making life harder for Anu. Okay, that's good. I don't know why I said Anu instead of Anu. You're Anu now, apparently. Check pins. Oh, it's there. It's pinned here too. Nice, nice. Is Swaga Manka still here? No, no, god damn it. God damn it. This just popped up as I said it. All right, fine. That one has to ride. All right. All right. Iris well played. is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. You got my terms. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake. <sighs> You want to race? Say the name and it just pops <laughs> sure. up on the top of the, of the chat. The right here? Oh, I want to see too. Me too. I would also like to see that. <laughs> I saw Anu's pin and thought it was pretty good. Then I went to see Swagamanka's original and thought they were the same. Then I went back to Anu's pin and I nearly gagged. <laughs> Come on, just show us. But all right, I'll go set up. Wait. What's happening? The mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! You gonna do your cringy dance again? All right, world, get ready. See my dance, Invincible Rainbow Arrow. Hit it! Oh. You gonna need a bucket? Oh, God. Oh, A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre, fruit never expires. You've seen in your fruit life. never expires. You've seen in your life. While the old father has, while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine. Marble? This is off beat. And I wrote the lyrics. So it holds a special place in my heart. That's right. Wait. I forgot he wrote music. Wait, who did? Who did? Mr. Kira wrote the music and I wrote the you, you wrote those lyrics. Actually, that tracks. All right. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Hmm. Which is why, on the other timeline, when he asked me to kill him, I was like, alright, I guess I'll do it. Summarize for me. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. But we discovered that he was looking for Iris. But why? He's really good at enjoying songwriting. That's true! He does enjoy it! We can think about that later. Let's get going. 
Yeah, you're right. It's nighttime now? Wait, what if I came here first? Okay? Yeah, why does this keep happening to you? It's okay. I just, uh, missed a step there. Oh, yeah, it's not about the omelet. It's the third time it's happened now. At the carousel, and then at the, with the spoon, and now here. This is weird. Is she doing it on purpose for attention? The offering box. A guardian dog. A lantern. Are you are you dead in some other reality, and that's why we need to collapse the causal loop? Alright, so off in the distance. What are you looking at? A flower over there. Flower. flower. You can't see it from here, can you? I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. Oh, me too. I have been here too. I'm curious about the flower Iris is looking at. NV. What's NV? An iris. Night vision? More specifically, a winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. Oh yeah, there we go. Chat saying night vision. Okay. Winter iris. Go pick it. Go pick it. Go pick it for you, monster. A winter iris. Yeah. How did you know? It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. Mm -hmm. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? So not your own That's name. why the flower means good news and hope. Wait, did we know that already? It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto, or sometimes Ikume Tenno, or Ikume no Mikoto. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest to find a mysterious, magical fruit. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. Nice. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. Taji Momori mourned. And then he ate the fruit. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. It is said that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? The fruit of immortality? Yes. Not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. Nah, I like immortality, and if and if Reddit's to believe, we're ten years away from it, and have been ten years away from it for the past thirty years. Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. Lame. No, that's cold fusion. But they did that chatter. They did it. Kind of. They did it, like, three weeks ago. Where have you been? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for The me. last ten years were the real Six ten years. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. That's not cool. It was pretty cool to me. 
When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. No. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for Uncle. I've been looking for him for six years. Uncle? But I didn't find him anywhere. It's us, for sure. I didn't know where else to look. So instead of me finding him, he found I me. thought that he could find me instead. Here I am. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh, no. I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Aset. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. What? You just knew you were going to become an idol. Okay. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Got it. Do do do. It was her dream since she was. Oh, that's true. What's her dream since she was? I'm sorry. I'm not paying much attention. I'm I'm off kilter today. Because of being so so owned by the pin, off kilter. You're forgiven, chef. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are we coming back here? I saw it. I'm sure. All right, here we go. Your corpse, Iris, right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. It was her, right? Can't be, couldn't be like a holographic projection. It can't be her pretending and then she just gets up. Like, like no, that's way too much. Like, she was frozen. He must have checked that. Oh, it's this game. So it is, it is reality changing or Lamayo, it was some other corpse that just so happens to look like her. You don't look like a So it's reality machine. changing. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. I tried to picture Iris's breast swinging down there like that. I threw up. And I decided not to. Then I went back to looking at her with not doing that, and I nearly Didn't you gagged. say that you saved me in your dream? Yeah. What did Insomnia. you mean by that? Insomnia. I told yep. you that I'm with Som an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. We're just telling her this, huh? That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um... I don't know how it works. I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? I don't see anything special about it. So my corpse was on here? Yeah. Hey, get out of my house! What the hell? I'm a poltergeist inside the circuit board. What? Ghost in the you show? I was a ghost, right? Maybe I'm haunting the warehouse with spooky astral projections. What are you talking about, Iris? That caramel over there looks so good! Yeah, you're right. It does look like caramel. But if I tried to eat it in one bite, that'd break my jaw. What are you talking about, Date? That's a cardboard box. You started. Ugh, never mind. Oh my god, are we flirting? Pew, pew, pew. What the hell? The box made me think of like a giant robot. A what? You know, from kaiju movies. Again, what? I guess not. No. I know what it is. What? It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? Your AI shiver. set. It's, it's cold it's in here. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? It's cold as hell Tomorrow in here, and she's not wearing any pants. With the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. 
This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. Are we allowed to just come in here? Nanotech? Yeah! Technology related to really small things. Like, really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Some of the cutting edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Well, I don't know if it was like beep, beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... <laughs> That was a really good line. The sync machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. Damn. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. heard of it BBB. the blood brain barrier right yep inside the school there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain they protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood right that's almost it yeah the blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain it is a kind of shield that protects the brain to get through an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. It's like a French press making your coffee. You have to make sure that the, the coffee grounds are not are, are not too small to slip through the the French press barrier that you're that you're putting down when you're brewing. It's very important. I'm a I'm a presser now. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how sinking works. Sinkers like me equip the sink gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables, and on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sink to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Well, this is way more Drill elaborate than I thought. No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and. No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. What we do Skulls is... Skulls already have holes in them. What we, oh, the eye! What we do is, is that we send the nano machines in, and they make a little factory, and each individual is too small, but it can get through the blood-brain barrier, and then they just, like, kind of come together, and then they start producing things that we need inside. That's what we're going to do. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. Ooh. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket. Then through the optic canal to the sea. Ugh. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. Oh. Alba doesn't like Iris at all. I respect it. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sink process. We couldn't have done this in the car. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. So bullshit. Exchange? Got it. Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay. Eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the oh. human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. So one of us is a plane instead of a car. Got it. I see. Hmm. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. 
and the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes, or else the house will collapse on our heads. Honestly, anyone else think this just isn't worth the hassle? Like, you don't get that much good information out of it, right? It's I guess they need to refine it. <laughs> like, it's a lot of work for, like... <laughs> For, for, you know, like, just like, it's a weird thing. But then after I did it, I went back to normal interrogation and I nearly gagged. So, um, you know, it's really The neural it. circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Hoose. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. So. But you've never met him, right? No. I haven't, I swear. Thermal scan, thermal scan. Oh, she's not, she's not really hot. Oh, that's because she's in the freezer. Hey, Date, you saw my corpse Wait, here, right? Have we ever thermal scanned Iris? Or X-rayed her? Let's X-ray her. Let's make sure she's not like a robot. I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Alba, you got Date, nothing. That means you're. Achoo! Excuse me. Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that. Date. Do 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 So this section has been a bit slow, but there's been some good lines, so whatever. Hey, mama, it's me. Wait, where are we trying to find an escaped convict? Like what Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna answer that. What? Anyway, remember what we talked about? What? What? <laughs> There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here too. Yeah, I know it's in the file, but like, like, why ask? Like, I thought she was good at, at, has the uncanny ability to detect virginity. Oh, so the ability works through the phone? She just, so she was just, you, I'm sorry, I thought she was inquiring for some reason, but no, that was just her demonstrating her powers? Okay, sorry. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> It's uncanny. You don't get to just put the word uncanny in front of something and then just be weird oh, about it right. for- Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. In my swimsuit. How are you talking on your phone without earphones? I was too lazy to explain it properly. That's what uncanny means. My con my understanding of the context of un uh, of the context use of uncanny in this case was that that it, she could just look at someone and as they walk through the door and be like, hmm, yeah. After one like like one talk with them, okay, you're a virgin. Like that's why I thought it would be like uncanny. Not hey, you just mentioned someone's name on the phone and because of that, I'm like, yep, virgin. You know, like come on, come on. It's uncanny anime so i came up with a lie i have an earpiece implanted in my ear wow cool i have a nose piece another call came in
Date, it's the boss. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Date, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? We haven't even tried. If I did, tried. I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Hmm. Wait, what? What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. Do you realize how screwed I am? <laughs> You're so awkward, bud. Go what? find number 89. What the fuck? If I find Renju, I find number 89. <laughs> I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? I told her I was going to marble with Iris. You're going to drinks? You're with Iris? And about who I was expecting to see there. Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? Yep. She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? <laughs> well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Porno mag. <laughs> <laughs> what about Iris? Ooh. Stabs Date, in the back again. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Wait. This is the, this is the wrong Dante! gun! Stay right there! How'd you get your gun back? Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is the end. <laughs> Raw! Look at them swaying. Yeah, but wait, who knew we'd be here? How? What, if I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be shot full of holes. Yeah, I know. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way. Which means, shit, we gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. Was oh was the gun that Peter gave us also a, a revolver or did we have a backup revolver? I'm confused. I th I thought we didn't have the gun, but I guess we did. Okay. It looked like a regular gun. Excuse me. Porno mags. Date, I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it! Don't ask questions... <laughs> Look at that! Like a gift from heaven. <laughs> so dumb. Are they stupid? Just as I calculated. What kind of calculations did you do? Based on you. Date, focus. Now, 
The first shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. Porno mag? Porno mag? Porno mag? I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh, I guess it was collapsed, and that's why it looked like it was fine. This is... This is crazy! Okay, Dante has to I've be running over there now too, like right? Before. Otherwise this is a huge plot hole. <laughs> it's gonna be like that Hulk running gif. Yeah, they must be stupid. Wait. Wait. You are too. Wait. What? The final step. But you don't have to do a thing. <laughs> Mama, there's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. Alba? There's... what? Don't use my voice without permission. Whoa. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Um, now, what's... Now, we're ready. What's about to happen? We just need to use the fire extinguisher. Um... It's loaded with high-pressure CO2. That's true. That's true. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's go! I can't aim without you, though. That was an animation. Are you gonna be dirty when you go back in now? Oh, she's strong. She can definitely lift the body. You Iris, ready? Here I go. What are you doing? Muscles galore, men's gymnastic routines, achievement unlocked. Excuse me? Excuse me. <laughs> so stupid. Macho muscles. So stupid. to my calculations. <laughs> I knew that the fire extinguisher was going to be thrown to the exact angle the bullet was going to penetrate in the way that it was going to go down and hit that guy in the head and then it go down to the other guy, hit the other guy in the head, bounce off and hit the one again, fucking the street lamp, hit the other guy in the group, turn around, bounce back off onto the door, hit another thing, and then Mama was going to open the door and it was going to bounce off the door frame and go back into the van and I knew that was going to... What the fuck was that? Shimino, what the fuck? Again, so stupid, but th but the problem they put you up against was so stupid and over the top too, so it kind of makes sense. This, this is my place. Pure comedy. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. This is what it's like being Shimano. He sees the world like like Alba does. It's getting late, but Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'd be in more danger with us. Iris, I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. PC. Oh, I can't get to my computer. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything here. Yeah, but the fridge is the one there is isn't one. Okay. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you, do you have any idea who they were? Do, do. After a long silence, Iris spoke. 
There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. You like I me? I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. What? But now, I'll come clean. Why is her hair cut different color? My life is being threatened by a secret society. <laughs> They're called the Nizet Laws. A group under the control of the Wajat system. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. <laughs> I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... This is such horseshit. What? <laughs> Date, please help me. What? They're going to kill me. Wait, wait. Slow down. A rug. It's spelled N A I X A T L O Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nice. They're deeply connected to the Wajet the system. Lule -lule -lo. Their organization is everywhere. International politics, business leaders, all operations. Okay, where's the Wajet system? Why why is this not alphabetical? Hold on, I'm scanning. I'm scanning. Is it is it Wadget or is it the Wadget system? I missed it. Shit. Is it not here? I thought the Wadget system was like... Uh, okay, I don't even know how I could describe how I understand it right now, but apparently I was wrong. I don't understand what she's saying. Meaning in secret. I thought it was just like a, like a computer process. How can that control... What? Whatever. Well, you know about the Wadjet system, right? Oh, of course, who doesn't? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Okay, yeah, okay. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg. Elgorg. The have been revealed. Basically, the Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. <laughs> it was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. <laughs> they were caught by the space dev team at Elgorg. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Is this true? <laughs> this is fucking fantastic! Is ridiculous. This is so good! Who has been feeding you this bullshit, Oda? This is no way! In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, Satellite. <laughs> Wikipedia pops them back on the menu. Jumpy, did you know? Dante, did you know 9-11 was an inside job? <laughs> Jet fuel can't melt steel beams, Dante. But the Wadget system can. What the fuck? It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. Most satellites are between 5 and 10 feet long. The International Space Station is roughly 330 feet long, so this satellite she is describing is about half as big. It's always in the same place, and there's no doubt that it's man-made. But by who? And when it was launched, no one knows. Also true. True! The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. What do you mean it's true?! It was on the news for a short while. 
No one could identify it precisely. Actually, the thought of an AI transmitting itself through space in binary and then any unsuspecting kind of civilization that knows how to recognize that and then just runs the code and then now there's a copy of them that exists on their computer. That's actually kind of genius. I actually like that. That's that's, that's a cool idea. It's complete horseshit. There's no way, but I like that idea. That's that's neat. Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite, and that was it. But that's not the truth. X00639 uh -oh. is a super-powered radio transmitter. <gasps> radio. Radio? What's that? Transmitter. Transmitter? Super? But it's not complete. Metal it's Gear? It's being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. Okay, so Iris, like, you came from that, so, um, Alien says what? So to summarize Iris' story, she's insane. The Wadget System AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. A secret society called Ni Knights or Nikes knows the secret of the Wadget System and obeys its will. Their ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. <laughs> Why? If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. But they don't. You don't. What? You don't need to. Okay, I'm. So, okay, you're losing me a bit here. How do you know this? I have questions. Because they're an AI, hey, come on. they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. Nah. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? That's it. They're done. That's all they want to do. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet is alive. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Destiny. Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. Uh -huh. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Nizet Laws? Nizet and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. What, you think that they know that they're following AI? Come on, only I know this, Date. I figured this out. They don't know it. Are you wearing two headsets? What? What? What is? What is this in the background here? Like, not the ears, the, the, the headbands in the back. It's the chair? I don't think so. They're not here, though, are they? Yeah, they're here, but they're not here. Oh, it's the way! <laughs> Hold on. Wajek can control stock prices. Nice benefits from that. Sorry. In return, Nice helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nice is in militaries and corporations all over the world to help build X00639. Yeah, there they are. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. Okay, good, 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 good. <sighs> Alba? But listening to your explanation, Nice doesn't sound like a bad organization. No, that's not true. How is the escaped murderer not the most important thing going on right now? Doesn't sound like a bad They just tried to kill us, Date. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nice. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. 
and human trafficking and slavery? Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. And instead, they're building they a radio don't. transmitter. They only care about themselves. Mm -hmm. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. Uh, how? 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 How did you find out the secret? How? Yeah, okay, here we go. Well, Someone contacted I can't me. say yet. What do you... But it's true. Believe me. It's so. Nice is dangerous. So knows it all. You have to understand, Date. You... You saw my dead body. Just believe me, Lamayo. Do you think that you were killed by Nyes in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. You have to protect me. What's your opinion on this route or the previous? Route? This one's way more fun and interesting. Nice pose. Think. Iris' story is, well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. I, I, I don't. I don't believe a word of it. There's no fucking way. I, I'm with you when Somnium can change reality, but I draw the line on radio, AI, transmit. Like, come on. <laughs> How does she know? It is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious... Okay, you know what? That is true. She is being targeted. I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> and it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. That's true. They did almost kidnap her. <laughs> it happened to parallel world. Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. What's your conclusion, Alba? Alba, you use the one jet system too, right? Yeah, whose side are you on? So what if I do? Yeah, whose side are you on? Alien. Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? Yeah, how else do they know we were there? Yeah. Ooh. Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. Somnium. Somnium. So of course. No, but the sinks don't work. First of all, the sinks are based in the watchet system, so that's gonna show us what we what the AI wants us to see. Secondly, even if that wasn't true, th like it's it's a dream. Who cares? Just, <laughs> oh, whatever. Somnium. Somnium. This is just a fucking wild playthrough. <laughs> Somnium. Som we waste any more time on Somnium. We're gonna go bankrupt. Did someone say Somnium? <laughs> what about the murderer that's on the loose? With Iris in the passenger seat, I headed back to Abyss. But really, I didn't want to take her there. <laughs> because Boss would be waiting in her swimsuit. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. So, Why would that be? Someone told them, Boss. Someone tipped them off? Oh, yeah. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. Alba, the Wadget system? That's right. No, it couldn't be. Boss. How is Boss more guilty than, hey, maybe through the Wadget system, they just know everything that you know, Alba? Impossible. Impossible. Iba, can you contact Pewter? I want to ask him something. Understood. Somnia! Somnia! Oh, that's it! Oh, that's it! Yeah, I need to use the sync machine, but... But Boss is, is, is a traitor, so he can't get in. Oh, that's okay, just come by my house! I, you can use the sync machine I have at home! It's much better than the one we have in the office. Once you go back and use that one, you will almost gag. <laughs> Do you have a s <laughs> Oh, we have to talk. I'm Dangan? Rampa. <gasps> Dangan Rampa. Um, Date, have you got anything weird in here? 
weird. Yeah. Yeah, and these plastic baggies. Just vibing. But that's flour. Who put the flower in there again? Was it was it Elba? It's Pewter. About boss. Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home. Whose side are you on, Pewter? You did stand by and let 89 out. Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? No. No, if it does, I won't have to go to it. No, 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 I could just go there and sink my, no, no, no. I thought you might know, but I'm, just, I'm like holding my hands up. Like I'm cringing. There's only one sick machine in the entire world and it's with us at Abyss. Okay, good, all right. For now, anyway. For now. all right, holy now. shit. The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen <laughs> six years ago. Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked what? and stolen by an armed group of men. <laughs> so, there's a Somnia machine out there off the grid? That's, what the fuck? The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered either. Where is it then? Let's go Tyler, use it. Were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. They must be changing reality all over the place. Where are you? Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. Oh, nice. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I heard something about a shootout. With this on? So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? It was me. The world has become a dangerous place. It was me, Pewter. So, neither you or boss are at Abyss right now? No. Good. I can take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, Pewter. See you later. Sure thing. Somnium. So, you, can, you can't put yourself in Somnium, can you? Date, where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you to determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course. Someone has to be like running the machine, right? This this is a bad plan. Alba, are we really going along with this? Just like Peter said, boss wasn't there. Alba knew exactly how to use the advice. I followed the directions of the, the console, the control console, and prepared the machine. Crew. Okay, if Alba's gonna stay out, that's fine. But then Alba can't. I guess can Alba duplicate or something? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Let's just go. Who, who gives a shit? Date, this time I will be remotely operating the sink. Okay. Roger that. So you, I'm, I'm Date. So you won't Are be able to help us. Yes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right. Let us begin. No, I was just about to make this joke. No, what is this place? Difficult to move like this. It's about the same to Why me. Why do you look like that? I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. Never give In up. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels or forges. Give it time. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. Oh my god, is a shovel. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen. 
This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge, a sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. Damn, on sounds a lot like Minecraft to you me. Already are. Oh, come on, I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. This is based you off of no Minecraft? Choice. Good evening, good morning, and hello. It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You Such bet. an astute streamer. I'm be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's Picked up right on that in. chestnut quick. Iris's let's play has begun. I mean, Help I shouldn't make these kind of you jokes considering that I didn't realize that the dumbbells weren't part of her helmet a second ago. <laughs> Don't really have a leg to stand on this stream, actually. Never mind. Let's just keep going. It's nice. They're coming. Find me, Date. <sighs> oh, a pickaxe. Lucky. What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. What? I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. Somnium scan. Activate. Well, this is creative at least. Mental lock one. Mental lock two. Three and four. That looks cool. Iris has been captured. Free her and support her. Okay, so it doesn't seem like this is one's gonna have a, a branch on it. It doesn't. It might later though. Right, someone said that it likes to crash a lot, so let's save it. Definitely need to go get the pickaxe and like hammer it. This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what Iris identified it what as. What do you mean? It, it, it totally looks like a pickaxe. This is a pretty avant garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. A silver gate! Let's dig it up! Like this? Oh man. I'm streaming, this her streaming. Is actually kind of fun. Easy there. We've still got a job to do. Who's streaming me? That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by Nice. It was me. Be careful, Date. Nice might be after you too. Did you get that? I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. But which Iris? There appears to be two. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out. It is a door, or perhaps a gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. This must be where we use the pickaxe. All right, just don't be too hasty. A door or gate? It is closed. Please break the game. Can, can I break the game? Investigate. Dig. Investigate. It is blocked off by some kind of hard material. However, we might be able to break it with the pickaxe. Okay. All right, give it a try. Oh, what the fuck? A door or gate? It is... Okay, just like I always say, let's hit it. Go, Iba. All right, here I go. Oh, shit. I got a rare material. Ooh, I knew today would be special. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Iba? So fun. Are we meant to do this the whole time? Uh, this is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. Roger. A rare weave game that's pretty good. I knew today was going to be special. This time was for sure. That'll age this well. Is a new area. And we cannot return to the previous one. Hmm, where else can I dig? We gotta find something to dig up. Am I meant to dig everywhere? 
Oh, there is a choice. Oh, that really surprises me. What the hell? Okay, so we can crafting table A, vending machine, monitor F. Let's go crafting. A crafting table. You can create items here. Investigate. What could go wrong? We need the correct materials to craft something. What can we make right now? Nothing. What the f This appears to be another gate, but something is blocking it. Do it. Understood. I cannot. This problem cannot be solved with fighting spirit. Why not? We are underleveled. Underleveled? We cannot break the material of this wall with the pickaxe. And we cannot level up with fighting spirit alone. We need to complete other tasks before returning to this gate. Fucking that great. That might increase the level of our pickaxe. Mm -hmm. That is the strategy behind this game, you see. Not every challenge can be solved with a positive attitude alone. So let's get our fighting spirits up and go do other things. Enough. Fighting spirit! Stop saying fighting spirit like a catchphrase. It is. We're going to say it throughout this whole entire Somnium now. Somnium. Fighting spirit. Somnium. It's a big stick of imitation crab. It must be a vending machine. Investigate. Dig. Well, investigate. It's, it's, it's worked out for us before. Well? It is definitely not imitation crab. Hey, Iba. Yes? I wonder why the people who made this game called it Shovel Forge. Perhaps they are interested in crafting digging utensils. I see. It's a strange world out there. Yes! Alright, so I don't... Do we want to dig the vending, vending machine? machine? Happy digging. Roger. Yeah, do yes. that, chat. Is this golden? Like and subscribe. Indeed, it appears to be modified, but it probably is based on golden Yolkacho. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it was a magazine. We yeah. Look, Dante. Uh oh. What is that? Uh oh, an elite is coming. But it's okay. I've got the feeling we can do it. Project Bluebeam! Nice is trying to kill me! You have to stop Nice! But what are we supposed to do? Dance! Dance? Use the most beautiful art form humanity has ever created! The power of dance! Enemy? They may have money and power, but they'll never take our beating hearts! Dance is the only way to fight the Wadjet system in Nice! Using this material, we can make a disco ball. Okay, her, her dream, her rules. I, I guess that's and what we're gonna do. Dancing time. What do you think, Iba? Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but that's not what I'm talking about. Nice does not exist. But I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. What you think does not change the facts. Now we have to decide our next move. For now, we need to find somewhere to craft the disco ball. Hmm. I found a crafting table. Hmm. Something the matter? It seems you can create items other than disco balls. But we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are expecting. Or we could make something else. Weren't we supposed to craft a disco ball? Yeah, but it was bugging me. One moment. Done. Does this crafting table even do anything, really? Oh, I thought we were going to make a better the pickaxe. Switch is done. What switch? Just watch. What are you doing, 
doing, Date? Fight nice with the power of dance! Date, don't listen to her. So, this is what nice looks like. Come on, Team Iba. This is what's behind all this. Was Iris lying to me? No, I think someone's lying to Iris. I'm not lying! Project Bluebeam is using holograms to trick you! You can't let it fool you! You have to use the power of dance! Okay, I think Iris is lying to me. Huh? Oh, look at that! The enemies disappeared! What? Uh-oh. Level up? Is this a glitch? I'm not lying! Please believe me, Dante! Oh, did we just make it? I thought we... I guess there's multiple ways to do that, but it's not a choice until the end? Okay. Okay. Can we get, get through... Can we get through gate three now? Or gate... Wasn't it gate four we we're trying to get through? Or is it... I don't, I don't know which gate to go through. Let's go through this gate. This appears to be another gate, but something is blocking it. Do it. Do it. Leave it to me. Do it. Oh, shit. I dug it up. Got the material. Let's move on. Did you watch the first episode last us? I did not know. I will when uh, you know when it's all Those done. Those flowers are winter irises. They're wilted. Whoa, this place is huge. How are we gonna check everything? Maybe I can make something with the materials I have. Okay? Okay. Okay. Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. Hmm. Dante, do you see that shrine? Shrine. That's humanity's last hope against nice. The orange. Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal at the shrine. We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. Please, Date. You're the only one who can save me. You're the only one who can save this world. Only me? Date. I'm the only one who can save her. Hey, Date. What? I knew it. It's dangerous to do what Iris tells us. I get what you're saying, okay, but is but it really dangerous? Ipa just Dante, might be part of the rationally. AI. She might be the alien. I don't know. I don't know. Should I listen to, like, cute anime girl or other cute anime girl? There's two anime girls telling me what to do. I don't know which ones to do, which ones to do, which one to believe. One lives in my eye, though, so I should probably go with that one. All right. What else is there? Question, question, question mark. What's that? Oh, it's the Shadow Man! Someone's there? Observe. Talk. Observe. Who is this? Futoshi? That is not Mama. Take me back to the, uh... Futoshi. Can I talk to reality. To Definitely Futoshi. I heard that Futoshi left on a journey to Sri Lanka to cultivate tea leaves. What? Really, Futoshi? You're just gonna leave Ikano behind? Someone's there. Excuse me, who are you? What the? <gasps> scared me. Why is there a monster in marble? Hey, don't say that about Mama. Oh, please. Is that... this man? What? You know him? Not exactly. He is a familiar face that has appeared in many unrelated people's dreams. What? He is an urban legend of sorts. If you are interested, I can tell you more later. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> You're a material? 
<laughs> that's okay. All right, monitor. I don't know what that is. More monitors. Okay, I think we can make something now. Crafting table. There's a crafting table here as well. Craft. Craft the nay. What? Craft monument. All right, I'm not listening to Iris. I've, I've, I'm not investigating, and I'm not li listening to Iris. I've decided. What is N-A? I see. You can take advantage of this glitch, Date. But I don't know anything about guitars. I said glitch, not gretch. What? I can do that? This game is filled with bugs and programming errors. True! We can take advantage of that to reveal things not supposed to be seen. I see. Let's try it. Understood. <laughs> what? It spent the this man material. Oh no, not the this man material. You? Is it a glitched skill? Oh, I see. How about that? Anything change? The numbers have changed. What, is it August 32nd? No. The pickaxe is level 255. Oh, that's max level. That's pretty extreme. But with this glitched item, we may be able to destroy something we were not supposed to be able to. Something in the game world. Or rather, something Iris doesn't want us to destroy. Let's destroy the pedestal. Or the shrine wall. Shrine wall, probably. This is a strange wall. Dig. I see. I just need to use the pickaxe. You're right. Do it. Do it. Leave it to me. Do it. Um. Okay. Starting to get worried there. The wall disappeared. Iris has bloomed? No, this is no miracle. Merely the result of the game's programming changing the iris from wilted to bloom. That can't be. Dante, what are you doing? What about the monument? What about fighting nice? nice. Tell her that we have the strongest pickaxe. We don't need that. The strongest Let's pickaxe. Wait, you couldn't Dante! handle my strongest pickaxe, no! traveler. Don't Lost a lot of time there. Uh, what's with this screen? Is it loading? Well, if you need to use the bathroom, now's the time. <laughs> Fuck it, we're only 20 minutes off.
My first stream was Stray. Oh god. You've had quite a ride then. A very boring ride. Holy crap. Mine was Persona. Which one? Just chatter over here catching strays. Uh oh. This is Golden Yokocho. Not the world of Shovel Forge. This might be Iris's real Somnium. There's nothing here. We have no choice but to move forward. Real Somnium? Somnium. Somnium. This is cool. I like this. I like the Somniums. What? <gasps> the pyramids built by aliens. Is this the exit? Enter. No, it's the entrance. Let's go in. Enter the exit. We're back. Hey, look. What? Pyramid? Nice is close. Date, help me, please! Iris! Let's help Iris. Let's help her by freeing her from her world of delusion. Reveal the truth hiding inside her imagination, Date. Okay, but people really did try to kidnap her, though. They really were. So I don't understand what's going on. Right, let's, let's, let's dig the mirror door. Let's dig the pyramid. It's a pyramid. Dig, climb, let's climb and dig our way down. Can we be rational and look at my feet? Okay. Your feet look like a sad, sliced open hair. Tie. I really don't want to see your feet. Do you no think feet I picks. can climb it? Don't post it's feet. Worth a try. Nope. Then I will try. You see? You look pretty, like a goldfish. Sorry, I'll get serious. Please do. Alduin Feet Pick says, Greetings, greetings, Alduin Feet. Oh, we're low on time! Holy crap, where, where did we lose all this time? Got it. It didn't work. So it's not invincible. It was taxed to its limit. Okay. Mirror door? I... A mirror door. But. I'm not reflected in it. Destroy. All right, one five, one seven. Well said, Date. No, you can't. That mirror amplifies the power of dance. Then I will do it. Stop, please. Please. When she was a child? Iris, oh, this man. is all in your head. You're imagining it. Where's she it's behind not that? Real. No, you're wrong, Dante. Iba. What? Let's end this. Yeah. She always have pink hair. It's, it's anime. Her, her pink hair is her natural hair color. Okay, so I just go over and I just talk to her now. Iris is core. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. I'm saving it right now. I'm saving it right now. Right now, I'm saving it. Right now, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. 
Alright. Believe me! Destroy my core. Alright, let's use the Timmy. Iba, that thing there. Uh? Destroy it. So the twist is that, is that Iris is insane? Okay. All streamers are. Please, stop! Stop! How many people just want a bunch of mono coins? Seventy-seven streamers just won six hundred and seventy thousand mono coins. That's a little cheeky that it was here and like, but really the choice was up here, huh? All right, that's kind of fun. Kenzai. The game lied. It's true, the game lied. On brand for anime games. Can't trust the word it says now. Okay, I think I got it. Alright, I want to see the flow chart. Ooh. Oh. -ho. Oh, so now we're on. So this is. Stay with Iris over here. And now we're on whatever the hell this is. Oh, it's pink! It's the true iris! So it's like this. Date and Tessa were attacked at Golden Yokocho by a group of unknown gunmen? It was just a coincidence. No, not unknown! They were hired by Nyes at Laws, also known as Nyes. I found out Nyes' secret. And now they want me dead. Date, is this for real? No, it's not for real. It's true that we were shot at by armed gunmen. But the nice part... The sink earlier. It didn't prove Iris' story. It only made me more skeptical. I mean, like, like we did that, though. <laughs> Iris is lying, maybe even unknowingly. It was just a dream! Lamayo, she believes that she's being targeted by knights. She sincerely does, but... Date, you don't believe me? I thought about it carefully before answering. Well, you didn't tell us how you know it! Iris, let me be honest. Whoa. I think you're letting your imagination get the better of you. It's not my imagination! Why don't you believe me? Because you didn't tell us how you Dante, found you're out. you're just being stubborn. You didn't tell us how you found out. You're just a cynical old man who doesn't believe in anything. True, but you didn't tell then us you how you give found me out. Proof. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. If you can't show me proof, I can't believe you. Iris, seriously, you're imagining things. A Reddit mod told me. Fine, then. I was stupid to think I could trust you, Date. Fine. Those Reddit mods were right. And then she died. And then she gets stabbed in the back a couple times with this thing. Are we with you now? The color of the root is the color of your hat? Yeah, what do you want? Date, you don't believe Tessa, right? Yeah, do you? Right. You don't believe Nizet Laws exists? 
No, I don't. Neither do I. Then why was she almost kidnapped? I don't know. But it might have something to do with Renju. Dun -dun. He was looking for Iris. So many jump scares in this game. In any case, we don't know who's behind it. But we know she's in danger. Which is why I came here. I need you to hide Iris. What? I need to go somewhere. To Hitomi's residence. Murder on the loose, remember? Remember the murderer that's on the loose? Remember? No, we don't give a shit about that? Okay. Yeah, I need to talk to her immediately. Okay. There's a room back there she kind of made her own. She's probably there. She certainly made herself at home. Has Iris been back there before? Yeah, Tess has been here a few times. Man, you're just living the dream, huh? Just best friends with your idol who you're in love with? Go to a maid cafe? Probably have, have access to your parents' resources and everything? You're just living the dream, huh? Well, yeah. If you make her mad, you make me mad. Well, I guess you'll have to be mad then. She had to hear the truth. The cold, hard truth. Even if that's true, you could have worded it nicer. You could have handled this better, Date. I, I can't believe I it. So as well. Yeah, Otis right. I can't believe it, but yeah. You are as clumsy as ever. <laughs> Hide Iris? I mean, I don't mind, but... Why here? The organization that I'm in may have a traitor. So I can't take her to HQ. It's pewter for sure. That of course means that I can't take her to my house either. So I thought this diner would be a good place. Wait, hold Friends on. Enemies wouldn't look for her here. So that sink went off without a hitch? There was no problems? Okay. If she's here with you guys, I know that she's safe. <laughs> Wait, you guys? Yeah, I'm expecting one more. Any minute now. Mama? Mizuki? Oh, it's Mizuki! Mizuki? Don't worry. I understand everything. I'll protect Iris. Anyway, if they do manage to find her here, having Mizuki around should help, right? R right. Right. How strong she is. Oh, excuse me. Good luck, you two. Thanks, Date. Mom just died, by the way. Date. I'm sorry for coming so late. But, but, I need but, to but, talk but, to you about but, but, Iris. But, 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 but. What is it? I still myself and continued. Iris said something to me that was very concerning. She said she's being targeted by an organization called Nizet Laws and that she needs help. Does any of this sound familiar? I decided not to tell her about the shooting at uh, Golden Yokocho. Not yet, anyway. Okay, does Hitomi know about it too? I didn't want her to worry. After a while, Hitomi spoke. We've been on the run for them since the beginning. I didn't intend to hide it from you. What? I just never found the right time. Huh? She's sick. Oh, okay. Iris has a malignant brain tumor. All right. A brain tumor. <laughs> okay. It makes her say strange things sometimes. I see. Her delirium could be a result of a brain tumor. It can also cause hallucinations and violent thoughts. It makes sense. Does it? Everything Iris said was likely a result of her condition. Wait, what? Secret brain tumor? Iba summarized it so bluntly, so calmly, but I couldn't stay calm. The words malignant brain tumor circled my mind. Do 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 do. This is drawing on the wall. I was straight when she was 12. Oh, 
Uh, still made us tea. Okay, so that still doesn't, you know, change the fact that someone really did try to kidnap her, though. Does Iris know? I didn't tell her the specifics, but I'm sure she knows. It's a brain tumor. It can cause a number of side effects. Nausea and dizziness. Alright. Is this a part of the PSYOP? Sometimes her hands and legs go numb. Dropping the spoon. Sometimes she can't control her body temperature. <sighs> okay, there you go, chat. Fine. <sighs> One, two... Three, four, five. All right, there you go. Five seconds. No, but I am kind of warm. What? That was all caused by her brain tumor? This is very convenient. It was set up, though. Yes. She said she was staying with a friend. She's with Mizuki, but it still bothers me. I'm so worried that I couldn't sleep. We found out in January. What month she is it? She suddenly collapsed at school. Suddenly collapsed. It's she November, went to the right? Hospital and they examined her. They found a tumor. According to the doctor, surgery wouldn't help. You mean? Grade four. Terminal. She has a year to live. Oh, at man. most. This is fucked That's up. What the doctor told me. And if they were right, then she only has a few months left. And she's hanging out with Oda? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What if we had like nano machines that could that could get rid of the uh, the tumor though? Ordinary treatments won't work. But nano but machines. One way nano machines. Save her life. Nano. Nano. Na Somnium. 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 Hey, Peter. Date, it's from Mizuki. Uh oh. <sighs> Why now? Sorry. Could you excuse me? I stood up and went to the corner of the room to answer Mizuki's call. What? What happened? Iris, she... She collapsed. She gone. I, she disappeared. I only took my eyes off her for a second. What? Where did she go? I don't know. That's why I'm calling. Uh. But she left a note on the table. Oh, just sent you a picture. Did you get it? I have it now. Opening. So long, sucker. I'm going with the person I trust most. Please, don't worry about me, Iris. Yourself? The receptionist! I tried calling Iris with a different line. I cannot connect. It is probable that she turned her phone off. Damn. Mizuki, let's split up and find her. Let Ota know too. Got it. Did something happen? She was eavesdropping. It's her house! No point in hiding it. <sighs> I told her that Iris was missing. What? I told me when quiet, too quiet. She didn't ask why she disappeared. I'm sure she thinks it's the tumor. She thinks that Iris's illness is making her go insane. Iris said that she was going with somebody, with the person she trusts most. Any idea who that might be? No. Okay. 
I'm gonna go look for her. <laughs> I'll go too. No, please, stay here. She might come home. But... It's all right. I'll find her. Trust me. Okay. Date, the person in Iris's letter, the one she trusts most. Who do you think that is? Renju, Hitomi, Uncle me let's not us it's not hitomi apparently Ren let's go with hitomi oh yes that must be it right now iris is heading home and we just missed her yeah no date if that were the case she wouldn't have written it like that wait what do you mean think harder what do you mean me you can't be serious. No, I'm Date. Should I replay the conversation from earlier? Please do. I was kidding. I, I was kidding. I think I could trust you, Date. I was kidding. Unfortunately, Iris has completely lost faith in you. There's no way she trusts you now. Renju? I think so, too. Remember what Iris said? I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. According to the mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. He was looking for Iris. Oh, the one with the hips, yep. I think Renju called Iris. And Iris went looking for him. Exactly. Then what can I do? We've been looking for Renju. Everyone at HQ is looking for him too. Not to mention he's on the run with number 89. And even with all of that, we haven't found him. We don't even have any leads. If we only had some clues to work with. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. If only we had spent the last two days up? looking for clues. Iris might be with Hold number on. 89 Hold at on. this very moment. Maybe I know something and I don't even know. Let's do Somnium against myself. Somnium. Somnium. We need to find her immediately. Now think, Date. Where would Renju go? The casino, Lemon Skate, the Sagan household, his house, his his house. Renju's house is currently occupied by officers from HQ. Oh darn. If he went back there, we would have been contacted. Alright. Uh the cold storage warehouse. The cold storage warehouse. Maybe he's there. Sure, worth a try. Oh he is. Okay, cool. That's it. I am low on battery. Please leave me behind and charge in the car. There is no one here. Damn. He's not here. Wait, thermo scan. Let's go, Iba. Wait. 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 What's wrong? Is there someone here? X ray. No living organisms detected. There's a secret passage. Then... No living organisms detected. Uh-oh. You mean... Let's search the area. We might be able to find something. On Sunday night, you saw Iris's body here? Yeah. Her dead body was right here on the workbench.
hostage port and sell them back to the warehouse. There's nothing strange about it. Oh, uh, there's there's just another body un under here of of Iris clone that's here, and the forklift doesn't go doesn't go up. It's a this lifts the whole thing up and it's just hidden in a compartment. It's just here the whole time, just in case they need one. Here we go. Here we go. Here it is. <laughs> All right, it's behind it, right? Please be behind it. No. This can't be. <laughs> no! Okay, that's kind of, Okay, almost though. Okay. Iris. <laughs> the case remains unsolved. What? Okay, but this she couldn't have been frozen that quickly. It's only been a couple... Locked? No. I, so I just, you must play through more. So just with the fucking morb back with information? What do you mean locked? Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 one second. 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 There's no way. That sh okay, so Iris really does have a secret twin, or or someone that looks just like her, or a clone, or it's or it's 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 not even a real person. It's just it's a sculpture, like this. This whole entire line was horseshit. That's amazing if true. This this whole entire line is horseshit because Mizuki has to be in on it. How is Mizuki in on it? W what's going on here? The reason why I say Mizuki has to be in on it is because Mizuki knew about the secret body compartment in her dream. Because we found about it in her dream. So she has seen that before. So And it's the same kind of like, it was frozen and it was cold. And there was like, it was the same kind of ice underneath the, um, the forklift. And something lifted up to reveal the body. So, how, how is Mizuki in on it? Unless it's just a mistake and it's like, oh yeah, the bot. Has it been longer than I think before once you went missing? I thought that was only like like an hour at best. So that body was there the whole time and, and we didn't even just use the x-ray. Why don't we just use x-ray and fucking thermal imaging? All that. What the fuck is this? Why would so go? I'm so confused. Like I'm legit confused right now. What What is this? This is I, this is like when I like watched um, Murder on the Orient Express and like Lily had read the book I hadn't. We watched the movie and she was just like like gleefully watching me lose my mind as I was trying to piece it all together. And then in the end, if you know, you know. But and so it's, like that sort of thing. Like what? What? What is this? <sighs> Okay, this can't be very long, right? Goes over here. We're at, we're at four hours, and I really want to make sure that we do fan art today. So I think we're gonna we're gonna stop it here. And we're gonna do fan art. How are we gonna do fan art? Am I gonna have to um, put like spoilers on the screen? Spoiler warning. 
I think I want to do this tomorrow. And then probably this one. Is this going to lead somewhere? I can't believe there's a lock. I didn't think this game was that long. Maybe it is. Huh. What's the lock? Hitomi? Under the table? Is there like a secret extension down here? This is like suspiciously like... Give me a second. I want that up there. I want chat over here. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to open the fan art. Uh, and if I go over here and I turn it on, it should just automatically capture that window that I have open there, which is the imager window. Okay, let's see if it works. If not, what window could it possibly capture instead? Oh, if it captures Steam, no, that's fine, okay. There we go, good, all right. All right, chat, you can see it, right? So we're about to go through um, a bunch of fan art that was made uh, for previous games. So if you um, want to uh, avoid spoilers for... Here you go, it's right there. Contents in order, Sword of Dawn spoilers, Virtue's Last Reward, Zero Time Dilemma, God of War Ragnarok, Florence, stray, I don't think there's any stray spoilers in there, um, and Life is Strange, okay? So if you, uh, if you do not want to... Um, uh see spoilers for those then then you know you you need to leave um i don't know how else to do it i could put like a note on the screen in text and maybe that will be enough i don't know but uh i could update this the stream title but no one reads those i think we're just gonna have to risk it sorry so yeah anyway so i'm gonna show you be showing spoilers for different for different media so there you go we showed this one before i think we showed this one before too didn't we By Baca, designed by Chrome, VTuber Joe, or was it just the the VTuber design that we showed, and we didn't show this one? That's gorgeous. Thanks for being thoughtful as well. I, I, I'm not being thoughtful enough, unfortunately, because um, I don't know how else to to avoid spoilers for for different media as we as we go through this right now. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to put a, put a thing on the screen. By the story in HV, aren't detective novels where the detective was the killer the whole time so overdone? Was this for uh, Zero Escape? As Joseph Anderson awoke one morning from an easy sleep, he found himself transformed in his bed in into a horrible vermin, but he didn't know. Oh, I, I, I understand this reference. Although all reflective surfaces mysteriously stopped working and the people kept saying weird things around him, he remained uncogniferous. Mirror Rust. Co. Official Mirror Rust. But you still see your shirt, but nothing else. Weeb. Senpai, are you a weeb? You would enjoy Steins Gate. After a rousing night of karaoke. <gasps> the meta metamorbosis was complete. Nice. Brought it back. Clone robot dragon arms. Nice. 
I was a uh, Mitsiku. Who is it? Mits Mitsiku ha ha Hakusuni Miku. There you go. It was stuck with Mitsuki. <laughs> hey, Rise. You would enjoy Steins Gate. The Snail by Maddie, which is now an emote. Snail, snail. Connecting to the Morbo Jenny feel. I, th I thought for sure we showed this one on, on in, a, in a montage at one point by Steel Jester. Thank you, Steel Jester. Connected to the Morb field. Vom, vom, vom. He's about to Morb. <laughs> by Mall Wharf Penguin. The real reason the jogger changed her path. This is a uh, zero time dilemma. Fan art. <laughs> I mean, I would too. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely, I would too. <laughs> but then I did that in the snow, so it was nowhere near that good, but I did that in the snow. Bikoi of snow. I get that, but I generally couldn't find the instance we showed it, so I was good. It, I just could be wrong, okay? I, I thought I had showed it. I don't mind showing it again. It's fine. Don't worry. It's, it's not a big deal. Like, oh, God. It's a sore HP. I can't believe Joe already figured out zero seconds. I didn't. <laughs> Life is simply unfair. I agree. What the fuck? I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud. By K. Zero Time Dilemma Story with Joe drawing Bikoi on pause screen, Carlos, and honestly, I don't remember anything else but Carlos from, from, from that point. Carlos was best boy, man. Best boy. Take your time now, Carlos. The coin toss can wait. There you go. Yeah, I remember doing this. And you, you, like eraser fuel. Do, do, do. Wait, is this a. Uh... Oh, it's transparent. Okay, that's why. I was like, how, why is it there's a background? Carlos is best boy. Bikoi. Be coy of Carlos. Can we add be coy to tier two emotes? If be is gonna have to be a free emote if, if it has any more sustain. I thought be coy would be like one and done and it's still around. This one's by Sam. Let me tell you let me tell you a story. One day a young boy went to the zoo. <laughs> there was only one animal. It was a shih tzu. Life is simply unfair, don't you think? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a snail. Nice. Let me tell you a story. One day, a young boy went to the zoo. My name is Zero Second. I am the mastermind behind the ongoing decision game. I believe in the unfairness of life, and I intend to share that fact with others through this decision game. One day, after being a little late watching the critically acclaimed Resident Evil Netflix series, I suspect that I wouldn't. I suspected that it wouldn't hurt to try to check on one of the teams. I had hoped that they that they understand the seriousness of the decision game. Hey, Grumpy, check out my cool OC. And there it was. The thing, this thing undermined all my efforts to prove a point, and but ruining the whole game with some cheap laughs from the fact that it's shaped like a penis. <laughs> so blunt. I believe that life is equally unfair. I don't think that's ever going to change. <laughs> Look at that. It's a great pose. Jesus fucking Christ, my paddle. There you go. And there's the whole thing if you want to see it all together. You're stupid. I like that in the man. True. True. Super true. By Razzle Basil 13. That's a great name. That's a great name. Do, do, do. I think we, we showed this one when we scrolled through it last time. Oh, Carlos. We're really in it now. Also by Razzle, Razzle Basil 13. Look at our boy, man. Look at this. Nice hand dodge there. Nice hand dodge. <laughs> Grumpy dragon, dragon man. By Citric, this that's not Nell, right? Citric, yeah, Citric. Let's hope their date goes well. Blushes. Aww. <laughs> Is that the one I drew? Just <laughs> why would you put? 
<laughs> like, it's like my shit stain on this great, wonderful art. <laughs> What's B. Koi thinking about? Where's the set of snails on the shirt? There it is. The call up. Yeah, I'm a fan of artist now, right? Yeah, I'm a fan of artist now. Here we go. My art is is beloved world over. Bikoi. Even someone with no artistic ability can can create great art. Great art. Whoops. Don't want to show ads and shit at the bottom. Wait, hold on. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fabulous gives you this look. Man, I haven't worn a turtleneck in so long. Maybe I should try wearing a turtleneck. Zero John Lennon dragon. Nice. This is a very intense picture, is it not? I feel like I'm being judged. My streams are very complex. You have to have a high IQ to understand my uh, my streams. Complete the otter game designer look. Yeah, it's true. That's true. I should. I can't just show up to my GDC talk wearing flannel. By David Diaz. Hopefully I'm saying that right. When I asked you to pick a side of the coin, it was because I knew you'd get it wrong. Like my oh, that way you'd have to take part in the decision game. Life is simply unfair, don't you think? By the way, have I told you about what the time when a snail blocked the Yeah, Zero is definitely like that. The the, the oh, I can see, kind of see the eyes through through the glasses. Damn the de the deets the details. Um, I can uh, I, I uh, remember when uh, we were morbing between the timelines. It just got insane the amount of things that he could he could predict without having the uh, the ability himself. By Razzle Basil thirteen. I think Razzle Basil really loves Carlos. Not sure, Carlos, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Hold up. You're telling me zero timed this style. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's true. <he> did. <laughs> well done. I appreciate that. I thought it was going to be hold up. You're telling me we're in some kind of zero time dilemma, but this was way better. Way better. By K, it's an anagram, but for what? This will make no sense unless you saw the specific variant of the Morbius meme, but you know what? I stuck a 11037 in there, so it has a bit of something for everyone. IGN. So, I don't know why. I've seen this before, obviously. I don't know why, but... Summoned his Morb Orb has just lived in my head since I, since I saw this. It just, there's something so infectious about... <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's over, anti morph. Carlos summoned his morph or uh Bikoi off snow up there. Nice. Remember when he uh, he he morphed away to learn how to handle this problem and when he came back his morb was just I I rolled. <laughs> he just, he, he morphed into the future when we played God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> Saw the Birger shit and it came back and was like, I roll. <laughs> uh, by Anu, does he return? He does not. Does he return? He does. I think this was for if the Ragnarok streams were going to be real or not, or was it if it was the, the Zero Escape streams? I can't remember what these were for. Very cute. Very cute, Anu. Anu, sorry, Anu, Anu. Does he know? Again, so I haven't seen the movie, and it's still uh, I know it. So the uh, God of War by Story and HV. So there was this movie, my favorite Martian. Eats, vanishes. Yeah, where does it go? It's true. Where does it go? I still, I still wonder. This gigantic beard on Dragon Kratos. Boy's not happy about it. God of War. I prefer Anu, and Anu. Which which one which one is it? I prefer Anu. Wait, you prefer the way I said it today? The the my favorite Martian was a, a kind of an unhinged bit. I will admit, I, I can't believe I even remembered it to be honest. 
Ah, no. Ah, no. And no. And no. Oh, yeah. Yep. Whenever Anu asks you to, to play a game on stream, say, eh, no. No, the prior one, Anu. 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 Not Anu. Anu. All right. By Mary. <laughs> Fucking. <it's> <laughs> he can't believe it. Did, did I make the joke about the bear, the boy going bear form and using the bow, or was it just like. You put this together. I can't remember. I think I think it was. This is on you. We're fucking sick. did I? Okay, You're fucking sick. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. By Sam, more like God of Boar Ragnarok. True. Nine streams, nine virgins, nine doors. Graphics get worse with each game. True. Carlos only in one game. Un unhappy face. Also true. Bait. Novel mode. Reading. Cry about it. Great tinfoil. Chat of war. Good graphic. Real game. Big beard. Simple but effective story. Boy. Too powerful for capture card. It was too powerful to capture card. Yeah. Had to go get a new one. And yet the nine nine streams were better. Uh, indisputably, indisputably, the Ragnarok, the Ragnarok shoes are pretty fun, though. I gotta say, I enjoyed Ragnarok, but not my favorite game. Thank you, Sam. By Silver Hertz. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call a dream. I'm seeing freaking piss people. What piss people? Where are we? How is piss coming back? Did you more back? And oh yeah, I'm talking to a cute girl. Yeah, okay. That is something I do now. I do marbles. Turn into jacked up beasts. I'll probably fly next. Unintelligible dad noise. And look at Kratos. Kratos is looking buff as hell. Look at this shit. Holy crap. When the boy went pissing. Oh yeah, he went pissing. The game brought it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I fucking told you you keep talking about piss. I fucking told you you keep saying. No, the game, the game said he was peeing. He came back and he's like, I was peeing. It's gonna, not, not, nothing to me. Man, I, I really like jacked up dragon minotaur Kratos. Holy crap. Dude, shredded. By Anu, you reference and I must comply. My dad is a weeb and a and a and I become a bear. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I can't draw bears. This is a cute bear. <laughs> Kratos Tutu. Cause it was God of War Tutu. So, uh, that's what, cause it's, cause it's the second game in the second God of War trilogy, even though it's not a trilogy. So we, the joke was God of War 2-2, Princess 2-2. So we have God of War, Kratos 2-2 with the bear. By Jelly, the all father of streams. This is just a badass picture of, of, of Dragon Kratos. Look at that. Man, I love the spear so much. Oh, I love the spear. The spear was so good. Great weapon. Too bad it's never going to be in another weapon after that. Do you think God of War Ragnarok should have been one, two games? I don't think God of War Ragnarok should have been a, a game at all with, with how it turned out. But um, I've read that it had some troubled development, so I'm not sure. By Vixit. Also, just another badass hell pitcher. Badass as hell? Can I say badass as hell? I think I can say badass as hell. Hero of Anaheim, true champion of the Jotunheim, Doom of Asgard, bunger. <laughs> and remember, what do you put? What's another name for a burger bun? A roll. So it's not that I rolled, it's that he is a roll. Eh? Get it? Eh? Yeah, get it, get it. It's funny, right? Plus two, plus the, the, the delivery. It, it's because I didn't do the delivery right. I should have said he is a role. He is a. Ro My people will appreciate. Fuck you. Fuck that got a fuck you. What do you mean? You're watching without audio. How the fuck are you doing this right now? Or was it like like fuck you in an angry mute? You're on a rock. Wow, wow. Thank you, Vixit. By Sam, more like slow time event. 
up. I never heard that before. <laughs> press, press it, boy. It's literally just one button. Let it end. I mean, I don't understand. Like, oh, it's all, it's on backwards too. Like, why wouldn't he just shoot? I don't get it. Why wouldn't he just shoot? All you have to do is shoot. I'm still getting minus twos from from the bad roll joke. Okay, whatever. I'll take my minus twos. I'll take them. I'll take them. <laughs> Angry side glance. The myth of motivational death. I died. I died. <laughs> I rolled. <laughs> Isn't there someone you forgot to ask? <laughs> By Sister <Sistarian> History. <laughs> Oh, dumb. <laughs> See? He rolled. Is a roll. Alright, now now do I get the plus two? Now do I get the plus two? No? Oh. By C806256. Florence Chan. Dancing with the mouse. Yoshi drinking water. Right, right color for Yoshi, actually. So is the hair lint? And these are like clothes stuck in the lint hair. What's 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 the story here? Yes. Man, you can't let Florence get too hot then, because she might ignite. Thank you, C806256. Said your name again. Oh, by Jelly, the goddess of warmth and song. Dry, <laughs> dryer chin, wielder of the fabled Mopnir. Amazing. All right. Plus, plus two just for this down here. Plus two, plus two. I mean, Florence Chen kind of has some legs. I'm not going to lie. When you're done with, with Mopnir, when the mop end gets dirty, can you just, like, flick it off and a new one spawns on it? Because that would be really helpful, actually. God damn. Thank you, Jelly. By Chrome. This is during Shrey. This is dumb. Why can you read and speak English? And it's true. I, I understand that this is incredibly funny because, like, why would, a, like serious streamer video game critic get mad at the cat but i was it was dumb and i did get mad really really, really mad i don't understand straight i don't get it are we ever gonna finish it i don't know how, how, how does how does the cat how does the cat speak english and read english but but is a cat Normal cat. Maybe 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 the cat is not a normal cat by the end. Man yells a cat, it's true. Man does yell a cat. Thank you, Chrome. <laughs> by uh Steel Jester, Silk Silk Song Waiting Bench. So this was for, these two were for the game awards day for, for when we played Stray and also uh when we said we were gonna get Silk Song news uh at the game awards. Yep. That that turned out. We also got Witcher 3 video news, so that was good. Really, really good. Amazing expression. So grumpy. Such a clown. Yep, that's how we felt. Oh, no. I hope you can't hear them. <laughs> it's like, okay, good, you can't hear uh, by Anu, you did this. You caused Life is Strange too. Yes. Okay. Is this from Anu to me, or is this like like note to Anu? Gamer, do you watch Joseph Anderson? He's my bro. OG dank bro. Sometimes I hit that jewel and pop his Witcher three vid in the back and just buzz my cush right, right on bro. This shit is so whack. Like Joe is the Joe the ho is hella lit. Excited face. Ooh woo. Oh, whoa. I can't come up with more stupid fucking lines. God, I hate this. 
<laughs> Anu, your 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 fan art collapsed at the end there. I think that Chloe Dragon Joe is extremely cursed. Very, very cursed. No quotes means it's me. Okay, alright. So K is saying you do this, you cause life to change. It's true. It's true. It did. And then there's the, the big hella. Big hella, which was an emote. Is it still an emote? Is it still like a tier? Yeah, it is. Here you go. Here you go. It's tier three because it's about to get cycled out unless people petition to keep it. It's like a museum of, of where emotes go before they before they leave. Oh, it's tier, is it tier two? It's not tier three. It's tier two. Emote tier two. Also by the oh oh ooh. this one's still around, isn't it? Or is that also down to tier two? Really cute. By Jelly. So since 8 is in the same row as the heart aspect, we know the capture log 7. So, <laughs> so uh, this, we, we, I don't know if we're going to do any more Sudoku on stream. But yeah, we were doing Sudoku on stream for a bit if you, uh, if you weren't here for that. He said it, Homestuck our friend. Okay, all right, all right. I, I didn't realize I just cast a spell, okay? I didn't realize I just cast a spell. Well done, Jelly. Well done. You pulled a fast one on me by paddle. Well, it's complex, but really easy once you get used to it. That's great. Now let's get back to your stream. Look, people, there are, there are dozens of us in Sudoku Den on Discord that are doing the variant Sudokus. Dozen, dozens of us. Dozens of us. Some of us are having the same experience, too. Me and a couple others got rumbled by Simon's Cracking the Cryptic yesterday where the rules were wrong. Urgh. So angry. <laughs> I mean, not, like, legit angry, but kind of angry. I got all the way to the end and thought I'd broken the puzzle, and it turns out that, no, it was it was fine. I'm, I, I realize now that I'm just actually enacting out the meme unintentionally by by talking about this right now but yeah this this wasn't so bad the the snail one wasn't so bad although the loop is kind of like yeah yeah the loop is pretty bad yeah if there was a loop thanks battle by sam sudoku chan Ooh, sudoku chan but the game yeah twitch doesn't understand S sudoku is king sudoku comes first hey sudoku chan what's your measurements Thank you, Sam. Snap, that one is going in the stream highlights by Jelly. <laughs> Man of answers and hypothetical walrus in the chat. Snap. Nice. What's this one? By Sam. She had a plan. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. The, sp the spoilers are kind of transcending. Uh oh. Thank you, Sam. I'm variant, not digital. Yeah, that's that's true. By K, I had a bunch of mini fan art prep for this, but Sudoku happened. My God, Joe, what 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 have you wrought? That's gorgeous. I gotta say, look at the colors. Plus two, minus two. That's really good. The snail Sudoku, one five. Yeah, it's, it's the Sudoku 1-5. All you get is 1-5. That would actually be a good one. N nope. <laughs> Just 1-5. Be quiet, Leon. What do you mean? G. Finally, Leon Joms. That's gorgeous. <laughs> and then the train <laughs> persona like a dream do, 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 do. nice Leon train smashing over Chloe how many times did we did we kill her there gotta be at least four right 
If only K made more fan. Hey, I've shown every piece of, of, of fan art K has made on stream now. Okay, every single piece, no exceptions, nothing at all. By Anu Moncton NPC. Okay, am I talking? Is this Anu? Anu, is this me talking? Like Moncton NPC is coming out of my mouth. Like I am talking about a Moncton NPC, or is this a label? Because if it's a label, you know. You're lucky this is really cute with all the dots. Let me let me put it that way, okay? Is it a label? No, you are the NPC. Wow. Thank you for coming in and just clarifying like a sledgehammer that no, it's intended to be the the bad version. Why about why was I the NPC? Was it because of the grocery store the comment or is it what what would what made me the NPC? I can't remember now. I remember I deserved it a little bit. Dadliest catch. Oh, it's McReady. Yes. King of streamers is McReady to do some baiting. Yes, McReady. I love McReady. McReady. Sudoku. Hatsumiku. Ayaya. What's that one? Oh, marbles. Oh, they're marbles. Nice. McReady. Not a bad horror game boss design, huh? You killed Chloe four times with trains. Nice. And I also rewound a lot, so, so she almost died a, a bunch more than that. But yeah. Dadliest catch. Thank you, Paddle. But, but Maddie Drood. <laughs> what was Life is Strange 1 with... Um, with the feeding the squirrel or something, and I and I and I said that, and Maddie and Maddie just just did it so fast. Got some Ren and Stimpy vibes here going on. Thank you, Maddie. I think. <laughs> her IV, her rules. Joseph Anderson. Yep, that's true. By K. Great vegetables. <laughs> it's true. It's it's a it's it's like poetry in motion that as we as we're viewing the Polaroids here, it's like we're reliving the stream moment that we can go back to. Like we're stepping through the photograph. Could we change time? Could we change the meme? God, Max was such a psychopath, such a psychopath. Hi, horse girls here. <laughs> what does whore mean? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Carlos would be like, yeah, what does that mean? Is this Victoria and Max? Hi, whores. I love Carlos, and I love high whores. Although, I does, it doesn't seem like high whore has uh, has much staying power. Maybe I need to say it a couple times on uh, on stream tomorrow. It's going to it's gonna be awkward when it it's like loses... It, it falls out of streamer memory, chat memory, and then I say it like, like up three months from now, and chat is going to be like, what the fuck? Why is he calling that character a whore? Wor worth a moon by K. Yahaha! Yahaha! You found me, Rachel Ambert. Nice. Is that McReady? Who cares? You got a McReady. Who cares? Why is he so perfect, chat? Dead, irrelevant, irrelevant. McReady is all that matters. Is that Jerma? McReady does have some Jerma vibes. McReady or Carlos? Carlos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I love McReady. Carlos. Carlos just had... You know, McReady, you know what? He, he never wears out his welcome, but neither did Carlos, and Carlos was around for much longer. I have to give it to Carlos. So I went back in time through a photo to try to bring back your dad by making him lose his keys, but then I had to, you had to kill you because you were real sad and in a wheelchair because of a car accident, and it sucked. Wow, that sounds really rough, but you can still go back and try something else because you kept the photo, right? Chloe will remember that. You kept the photo, right? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Why are you raising your head? <laughs> nice. By Sam. Thank you, Sam. Date and McReady. I think I like Date more than McReady. So I went to the McReady stream. I like the, the, the blurring of the rewind there. Bye, Davi. Oh, my God. 
Oh, all right. So this is a uh, fan art vandalism of um of uh of something that was vandalized in in Life is Strange one. Sprinklers on ten. We blounge. It's only because he had OC. Great vegetables. LLU. Where's the J? LLU J. Life is simply unfair. Bekoi off snow. Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I feel like I'm being put on blast for my bullshit right now. You watch Tangan Rampa? You actually like that show? It's trash. Plus two. Girls, girls, boys. Ah. I'll be waiting in my swimsuit. Ass eaters. Chat upon waffles, but once was previously dad upon the 16th student and 11037 and, and down there and useless with keck and coggers. Do the growl. I don't know if I can do the growl. Hold on. <clears throat> there you go. Not my best one, but you know, not too bad for real. Thank you, Davy. How, what do you mean how? It's it's like how like most people can't do it. By Sam. Joe, every time that a plot twist of some kind happens in a game. It's true! I like to figure it out. I know this is annoying to some people, and I think people some people don't understand why I am this way. Or, or they think rather they think that I um I'm like trying to outthink the game or like I get mad sometimes people say oh Joe will decide what the story is and then and then get mad that it's not that and I really don't think I do that I just like to speculate especially because so much stuff about writing is mystery writing I think almost all writing is mystery writing actually um but yeah I I, I usually don't mean it badly but some people don't take it very well I understand it can be a little frustrating this is true though absolutely true one guy one guy getting mad in the background one guy. <clears throat> the messy nature of this drawing represents the messy red string board, and there's no other reason for it to be like that. <laughs> oh, it's animated! By Anu. I literally could not decide which one to pick. Hi, whore. Hello, Carlos here. Keck. Nyeh. Ayaya. I will say, before the song was really boring, but, but the hand meme was hilarious. It's animated. Ah! Plus two chatter, plus two. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? I mean, that is the only explanation. The, atten the attention to detail in Life is Strange Before the Storm is bullshit here. That is, that is a third hand had to grow, and then it's on the wrong hand in the picture in the next frame. It really makes you feel like you're playing Life is Strange Before the Storm. This is poetry. Really makes you feel like you're back in there. Nice. Thank you, Sam. Joe doesn't know the deep Life is Strange Before the Storm lore. It, it, clearly, clearly. Before the before the before the storm streams, he loves it. Psycho, hella kind of base. He was a little based. To blame. <sighs> Strange miss now is not real. Cool pixie geek girl. True. I'm about to go cringe mode. So bored. Still to blame. And David's a, a monster, but also kind of Rachel Amber right right there. What <laughs> what is this? This is terrifying. Holy crap. Uh, before the storm was so bad, but Life is Strange 2 was so boring. So boring. Will we ever play a more boring game? I like the matching Bikoi shirts, so more boring game than Life is Strange 2. My god. Thank you, Sam. And is, I think this is the last one? No, it's not. By K. Yeekmas, yeekmas, yeekmas. Where, where do I know this from? I feel like I've seen this before. Th is this based on a meme? Terrifying. That's that's young Max, isn't it? When she first gets the... Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah. 
Telltale Miss is going to get you. We probably will do Telltale Miss next year, but I don't know if we're going to do Yeek Miss or Happy Happy New Yeek or Happy Yeek Year. But yeah. Hovering T pose. Oh, that's where I know it from. Okay, yeah, yeah. Blame her. A lot of blame for Anu by Jelly. Anu, how did you survive the Life is Strange fiasco? That you were celebrated for your pin today. You, you ever seen the movie Gladiator? And they're talking about when uh, when the guy takes over as as emperor, and and the all the politicians are being like, you know, he, he's a, he's appealing to the mob, and it's like he's an idiot. And be like, no, he's really smart. The, he knows the, the mob. That mob is Rome, and the Rome is the mob, and the mob controls Rome. He's appealing to the mob. That's what that's what Anu's doing, man. I understand Gladiator is now a, a boomer movie and like only five of you have seen it, but, but yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. No one knows it by Anu. Hi, whore. Hi, whore. Hi, whore. Gladiator was shit. What? You've seen it and you thought it was bad. What? I understand not seeing it, but seeing it and thought anything it was bad? I, it doesn't have to be your favorite movie, but bad? High horror. Pretty classy there, Anu, I gotta say. And then we showed this one before by Steel Jester. We'll show it again. Babe, you're so cool. Fire, fire, fire! I can't remember the voices. Hopefully that's close. I don't know. It fits so well. It fits so well. Beavis. <laughs> and I think Robo Robocarpoli and then that I think we showed these last time. Just keep it up for a second. Praise K by Jelly. Yeah, and I think now we're caught up. Oh, Fido. Oh, Fido. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, definitely caught up. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Just in time, too. Five minutes to spare. Nice. All right. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, cheered up a bit now through the stream. Thank, thank you for hanging out with me. Sorry if I was a bit grumpy at the beginning. I tried my best not to let it show, but yeah, like I said, not not a not a, not a very good weekend. Um, I don't think the Ragnarok video is going to be out this week, by the way, but I am going to try my best. But um, the weekend was really bad. I like I think I got like eight hours of work done, and that was it. So, oh well, it is what it is. I will see you all tomorrow for more Al Simonium files. It's getting pretty interesting. I really want to know where it goes. See you later. Have a good rest of your day.